Hi everyone! Welcome and hi everybody, how are you all doing? Welcome, welcome. Welcome to my birthday stream. How is everybody doing today? I hope you're all doing well on this lovely Monday. And thank you guys so much for joining. I hope you guys are all doing good. I have missed you and I'm very, very happy to be back. Hi Sienna, hi Rika, hi Lexi. Hi Mitsu, hi Becca, hi Ruby, hi Planty Gaming, hello. Hope you guys are all doing wonderful. And thank you so much for hanging out today. I hope you guys are all doing well. We'll get started in just a minute. But yeah, I hope you guys are all doing good. And thank you guys so much for joining in today's birthday stream. Sorry that I'm late. I was grabbing breakfast this morning and then it just kind of ran late. So, hi Alice, welcome in, how are you? Happy birthday, we missed you. I missed you too, and thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for the birthday wishes. It means a lot, thank you so much. I'm so glad to be back, I've missed you guys as well. Hi Lisa, welcome in as well, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys are all doing good, but yeah, as you guys can tell, we're doing some villager hunting today. We're going back to basics with just some fun villager hunting today. And I was gonna go open a plot, but Jocks wants to leave, so just makes more sense to me just to kick him off so we're gonna do that and we're gonna no 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 oh my god oh my god <laughs> i you could tell i've not been playing animal crossing uh, i didn't press the right button okay he should still have the uh thought bubble so we'll kick him off and then we'll get started with the villager hunt today but i was grabbing tickets this morning this past couple days have been absolute chaos for me so i've been like not able to do anything like I planned on streaming last week and then life got way too busy and I got way too busy and I just I have no explanation for why I haven't been around other than I've just been busy <laughs> but we're back we're gonna start streaming again regularly I'm gonna start posting videos and stuff again um and it's gonna be a good rest of April because I have not streamed or done anything so far for April but the rest of the month is going to be fantastic, and I'm very excited to have you guys all here. Who are we hoping to find today? I have a list. I'm going to actually share the list in a second. Let me actually open. I have it in a Google Doc. I was doing my little, um, like, brainstorming for all of the villagers. So I'm going to put them in the, the thing. What's the thing? The, um, the description. I actually have to get rid of a couple because I already have some of those people. So, like, let me actually adjust it. Like I said, I was not prepared for today. I was not prepared for today. My own fault. I didn't get home until, like, late last night or, like, late yesterday evening. And then I had some stuff I had to do. And it was just a bunch of chaos, you know? Like, you know when life is just absolute chaos and you're like, I need two seconds for life to just slow down and chill for a second okay, let me see villagers we're looking for i'm actually gonna also make a command for it for nightbot just so you guys can see that but we have a couple of villagers we're looking to hopefully find today i'm looking to hopefully find doby monique ava patty kyle or bush or butch those are the the top villagers i'm hoping to find today but let me put the um command in nightbot Just so it's there for everybody, just in case you guys want to type in that too. Sorry for being like all over the place. You guys are used to this though, right? You guys are used to being, being absolutely chaotic and never... Um, let's do it like every... There, okay. Um, that should be good. Hopefully that works. Hopefully that works. Okay, we should be good. And then right there. Okay. Hopefully that works and everything is good. But yeah, we're going to get started. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dahlia. Hope it's a fantastic one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anytime you need a little break. Yeah, it wasn't even that I needed a break. I just... Life got so busy. I wanted to stream and then life just got too... 
chaotic for me to stream. Okay, thank God Jock still has the <laughs> thought bubble. Okay, so let's kick him off and then maybe we'll go villager hunting and then everything will be good. And thank you so much, Heather. Thank you for wishing me happy birthday. I hope you're doing well. Thank you, thank you. And hi, Amy. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so much. Happy birthday, Dahlia. Thank you. I missed you so much. And I hope you're doing well. And thank you so much for the super chat. I missed you. And I'm so glad to be back. And I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Of course, it has a typo in it. I didn't even notice. <laughs> happy birthday. Hey, day, Dahlia. I, I mean, like, at the end of the day, you wish me a happy birthday. And that's the only thing that matters. <laughs> but I appreciate it. Thank you so, so, so much. Oh, my gosh. You're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah. If anyone is curious about who we're hunting for today, you can do exclamation point villagers. And hopefully Nightbot will be kind enough to work and share the villagers I'm looking for today. Who knows? Oh, it worked. Thank God. And yeah, you should be able to see the villagers that we're hunting for and all that fun stuff. But yeah, those are the main villagers we're looking for. I do have a couple of their... um uh d -d 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 the amiibos for about like two or three of those villagers so even if we don't find some of them i do have some of their amiibos so we should be okay either way but i'm really hoping that we are able to find some villagers today and if we do find a villager early enough on i do have an open slot available still for another house so we will go villager hunting again until we find another villager so hopefully we get very lucky and hopefully the animal crossing gods are on my side today as it is my birthday it is my birthday today by the way like today if you're curious my birthday is on april 15th so hopefully the animal crossing gods are kind enough to me on my birthday and we're able to find some good villagers but anyways i hope you guys are all doing good how have you been please let me know how your lives have been in the last couple of weeks because i have not streamed in like what three weeks give or take <laughs> and i haven't posted a video for like two weeks so i feel like i've been like a very very mia um which i am very 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 sorry for i have no excuse i have no excuse but it's okay we're back today and that's the only thing that matters the only thing that matters is that we're here today and we're hanging out together and I get to spend the afternoon with you guys which I'm very very excited for it's currently 1 40 I was supposed to start stream at 1 like you guys obviously know um but we'll be streaming for at least a couple of hours today so probably like two two and a half hours and then I'll be streaming probably again on one or Tuesday tomorrow tomorrow or Wednesday depending um, on my schedule, but one of the two days we will be streaming again this week for sure. And then we'll be streaming again later this week. And then I'll be posting a video for my new island, which if you guys didn't know, I reset and have another island, um, that I'm currently working on. It's that, that summer island that we started like a month ago. <laughs> I finally started working on it. So I'll be having the first video posted for that one in the next couple of days. So very excited to share that too. I hope we had a lovely day so far. It's been pretty good. It's been, it's been pretty good. We haven't really done much. I literally woke up. I went out and got food. Came back. Got ready for stream. And then here we are. <laughs> it's been a very chill, relaxing day. And hi, Ebony. Welcome in. Thank you so much. And hi, Varian. Hi, just got here. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to the both of you. I hope you're doing well. And thank you so much, Ebony, for the four months of being a member. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. And thank you so much, your local crybabies. Thank you so much for the birthday wishes. And thank you to everyone who's wished me a happy birthday so far. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. I cannot believe I'm already 30. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I haven't picked up ACMH in a few weeks. Horizons Forbidden West has had all of my attention. Ooh, I mean, at the end of the day, as long as you found some game you're, love, you're loving and that you're addicted to, that's the only thing that matters. I'm, like, getting back into Animal Crossing right now. I did have like a lot of burnout and I still kind of have that burnout but I think working on some new islands and kind of just taking a little bit slow and obviously taking my little break that I had as well I think probably helped it a bit um I'm starting to find new I need to find new games to fall in love with I've kind of fallen off Dreamlight Valley for a little bit um I've been playing Tears of the Kingdom again like I just randomly restarted and decided to um start a new save for that but yeah that's pretty much all i've been playing 
in the last couple weeks. Okay, so we officially got rid of Jacques. These are the villagers I currently have, by the way, if you haven't seen my last video. Um, the villagers that are permanently staying for sure is Gaston, Biff, Buck, and probably Fauna, even though I haven't 100% decided on that yet. Um, so we at least have three, maybe four villagers that are going to be permanent villagers on this island. But we're still, we're still, you know, up for debate of whether or not I keep Fauna. I'm not like 100% sure. But let's start the hunt. I have, I think, like 150 tickets in my pocket. So we should be good to go. Um, we got a bunch of tickets to hopefully find a good villager. And the villagers, like I said, are listed in the description uh, if you're curious about who we're hunting for. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, Stephanie. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for dropping in to say hi. And thank you so much for the birthday wishes. I took a break and played through Princess Peach Showtime. It's a fun short game. It's a good palate cleanser. I'm glad that you had fun with it. I unfortunately can't justify spending the price for the little amount of gameplay but i can see that it looked like a lot of fun like i was heavily debating getting it um but i just can't justify 90 dollars canadian for like a game that you can complete in like such a short period of time you know what i mean okay um also by the way look at my outfit look how cute i look today look at my little cowboy boots and my little hat okay i look adorable but anyways let's go hunting okay first villager is Anka, I literally, as you can tell, I haven't played in a while to the point that I did not remember what her name was. Hi, Anka, how are you? I almost never see her on a villager hunt, so it's nice to, like, see a different villager. We are looking for a cat. We're looking for Monique, which she, unfortunately, is not Monique, so we have to keep keep going. But very nice to see Anka. I haven't seen her in quite a while. Hi, Dahlia. Happy birthday. Thank you so much, Livy. I hope you're doing well, and thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you're doing well, and thank you so much for dropping in to say hello and to wish me a happy birthday. I appreciate it. Um, how's your day been? It's been good so far. It's been good. We've had a very chill, relaxing day so far. I have some dinner plans tonight, um, and that's pretty much how my day is going to be. I've had, like, things I did over the weekend. Like, I got my first tattoo on Saturday, which was very fun. Um, my first ever one. Like, I'm 30 and I just got my first tattoo ever, which is very exciting. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you have seen the photo. Or on Instagram. I think I posted on Instagram, too. But yeah, I have my first tattoo, which I got, like, a little flower bouquet kind of thing on my, my arm. And then I, like, went out for breakfast. And then yesterday we had, like, a family dinner, um, which was nice. And then today I'm doing a little small dinner as well. Keeping it very low-key. Even though, like, you know, it is, like, a milestone birthday, I guess you could say. Because I'm in my new decade. But, yeah, keeping it very low-key today, which I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to. It's only 60 Canadian, but my friend lent it to me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have played it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Like, if someone had a copy and they were like, oh, yeah, you can borrow it, I would be like, 100%, thank you, absolutely. Oh, hi, Elmer. Okay, I actually was debating getting Elmer for this island, but we decided to go with Buck. Because Buck is one of my favorite horses, and I love him. Elmer is adorable, though unfortunate name with the Elmer glue thing but he's so cute and I like him but he's unfortunately not who we're looking for today but really good villagers to start off with we've had some very good good starting off very good very good I just like that you're hunting for Kyle and Monique manifesting those two because I adore them two of my absolute favorite villagers um, especially Kyle. I love Kyle. And I'm very excited to get him for this island. I was like doing my little brainstorming for this island and I'm like, who else did I want for this island? I'm like, oh my god, I forgot I wanted Kyle. Because I really, really wanted him. Because I haven't had him as a permanent villager before. So I'm very excited to get him. I never seen Anka before. I forget that she's in the game. She's one that I never come across. I remember when the game first came out, she was very coveted because she was like a new villager, you know, like everyone's obsessed with her, like the Raymond situation. Um, but she's just so cute. She just obviously fits like a very specific island theme. So unless you're doing like Egyptian or <laughs> something desert like, or unless you're doing like an all cat island, I don't really see many people grabbing her for like a permanent island you know even though she is very cute she is a very very cute cat for sure all right let's see who we can find today come on good luck gods please oh okay faith faith is very cute but we're not looking for a koala for this island 
Unfortunately, she is adorable though. I'm not the biggest fan of like her having the orange head and then her hair peeking out. It looks like she's wearing a um like a helmet or like I don't know, like a, like a bald cap or something that covers like part of her head. You know what I mean when I say that? Like it's a little it's a little bizarre looking. <laughs> but I do like her. She is very cute. Though. I think I mentioned Kyle when he first reset and made the island, but I can't remember. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if you did. I would not be surprised if you did. He fits the whole, like, abandoned western town very well. Obviously, with being, like, a hyena, like, he'll just fit into the whole, like, vibe really well. And I've always wanted him as a permanent villager, so now is just the perfect time, you know? The perfect time. I saw your new tattoo. is very cute. I got tattoos up in my 20s, but now I've run out of tattoo money. Tattoo money is a it's a lot of money. I luckily this was a birthday gift from my sister, so I thankfully didn't have to pay for it. But it can be very expensive to get tattoos for sure. And then people are like, don't get addicted. It hurt a lot to me. I'm I have a very low okay. I actually have a very high pain tolerance unless it comes to like very like superficial things like getting a tattoo. In which case I'm like a little wimp. And it really hurt. <laughs> and I don't know if I could see myself, like, regularly getting tattoos. Like, it took a lot of, a lot of, um, build up to, like, be comfortable to get this one. So, I don't see myself getting a lot of tattoos. Like, maybe one or two more in the future. Kind of, like, throughout different areas of my body. But, like, for right now, I'm very happy with the one. And it's, like, big enough that, like, you can obviously see it. And not too, too, like, small, where it's, like, un, un, like, you, it basically takes up, like, about over half of my, my forearm. Which is, like, pretty good. It's covered right now, because I'm wearing a sweater, but the recovery process has actually been really good. I didn't know how the recovery process was going to be, because I haven't gotten one before. But it hasn't been bruising. It's going to start, um, like, scabbing over pretty soon, I can tell, because it's very raised. But obviously, it's only been two days since I got it done, so we're just gonna have to wait and see. I was really afraid yesterday when I took my wrapping off, and I'm like, oh, I have to wash it now. I'm afraid it's gonna get ruined, but it all worked out fine. I forgot to mention because it's been so long, but I have an offer to do my master's this year. I'm so excited. That's so exciting, Alice. Congratulations. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yes, you can tell it's been a, it's been a while. You probably found out about this several weeks ago, and we are only now getting a chance to talk about it. Oh my gosh, but congratulations. That's incredible. I'm so, so, so happy for you. Okay, my Joy-Cons are being very slow today, and I do not appreciate it. Thank you so much, Lori. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. And thank you so much for dropping in to say hello. And thank you for the birthday wishes. I can't stop smiling every time someone wishes me happy birthday that my cheeks hurt. <laughs> like, I got, like, a bunch of people commenting on Twitter this morning. Like, I woke up to, like, a hundred messages. I'm like, okay, people are so sweet. Oh, my God, I feel so loved. Versus, like, you know in real life, like, you get to a certain age, like, you get, like, three people. You get, like, your family members and, like, your close friends. But then when it gets to, like, the people that you know through, like, Facebook from, like, high school, you get, like, the random, like, two or three people commenting. And it's like, oh, thank you, person I haven't seen in a decade. <laughs> that was Freya. Freya is very cute. I love her, but she's not Kyle. So we're gonna have to say no. Gonna have to say no to her, but I do like Freya a lot. The itching is the worst part. Be prepared. It'll suck. Oh, no. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I'm like, I've been like, it was a little bit itchy because it was very tight when I first got it done. So I was kind of like just tapping the area. But I can already tell that it's a little bit itchy because now I can fully see that it's been raised. It's like the ink has fully raised on my skin. So now it's like, it's just like waiting for the, the itching to start. I will prepare myself mentally. <laughs> I will want to scratch it, but I will be strong. Happy birthday, just gonna lurk while I work on my island. Thank you so much, Nana Cat. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, and have fun working on your island. I appreciate the birthday wishes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, and it was only a few days ago, actually, I had a while to get a res I had to wait a while to get a response to my application. Ooh, okay. Okay, well, we're very good to hear. I'm very, very proud of you, and congratulations again. Honestly, getting to any post-secondary 
graduate work is very, very scary and very daunting and can be a very, very stressful situation. But I'm so proud of you. And I'm sure you're going to absolutely kill going into your master's program. Um, okay, who do we got? Who do we got? Who do we got? Who do we got? Hello. Oh, uh, Savannah. I never see Savannah. She is another, like, OG villager I had on my first island. And she is so cute, but she is one of those villagers that unless you're doing, like, a certain type of island, you're just not gonna have her as a villager. But she's so cute. I love all the villagers that are, like, a deliberate, like, type of animal. Like, like she's, like, obviously, like, it's supposed to be, like, a zebra. She's not just, like, a random type of horse. Like, she's so cute. But we're gonna have to pass up on her, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Speaking of, like, my other island, by the way, remember how, like, so, if you guys were around a couple weeks ago for my first reset, when I did my reset for my new island, uh, Capri Sun, um, remember I said it was gonna be, like, kind of like a kid core summer beach city or something? So, I've completely changed the, um the theme it's still gonna be a summer island but we're going more like coastal beach city so it's not gonna really have that kid core element to it anymore um just because i'm incredibly indecisive and i change my mind a lot so i change my mind <laughs> but you guys will see what i mean like because i went i went code shopping because i was like debating like what type of codes i wanted and like debating the villagers i wanted and like i was just getting like overwhelmed with like my decisions so i went code shopping i deleted all the codes that i originally grabbed hi rex bye rex um and so now i've settled i think on the codes that i want so now we're going to be um working on my entrance which i've already started to work on so you guys will see what the new island theme is gonna kind of be um, but just a heads up if you were excited for the more, like, kid core beach, um, island, it is no longer going to be exactly like that. It's going to be a little bit different now. Just a little bit different. Um, and hi, Matthew. We're looking for villagers. We are. If you want to see who we're looking for, the list of the villagers we're hunting for is in the description. You can also do hashtag villagers in the chat and it'll let you know what villagers we're hunting for hi giraffe Woogie, happy birthday wishing you well who are we looking for we are looking for as nightbot just mentioned we're looking for doby monique ava patty kyle and butch i'm not looking for anyone over the other more particularly although i do have a couple of those villagers um Amiibos. I think I for sure have Ava and Patty and Butch's Amiibos. So I would say we're probably looking more so for like Monique, Kyle, or Dobie. Especially like Monique because she is not really on Villager uh, Treasure Islands. So I would want to find her because trying to find other villagers can be a little bit more challenging sometimes, you know? Okay. Who do we have? Hello, hello. Oh, cat. Why does cat always show up now? <laughs> Where were you when I was looking for you months ago for my other island? Oh my god. Hello, cat. I love you. You are not the cat villager that we're looking for, though. So far, we've run into her and Anka. Let's see how many cat villagers we run into today, because apparently we're running into a lot of them. Hi, Anouk. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. And thank you so much for the birthday wishes. And thank you, Matthew, for the birthday wishes. I've been well, thank you. Yes, it has been a while since I have been streaming, but I am back and we're going to... 100% be a lot more active on this channel going forward and I appreciate you guys so much for being here I hope you guys are all doing well and thank you so much for being here while we do some villager hunting for my birthday and hopefully the villagers thing will show up I have it on a time limit of about a minute just so that a bunch of people aren't spamming it but yeah it should be available again but yeah those are the list of the villagers it's also in the description as well if you are curious I got my iced coffee. I had a breakfast sandwich this morning, which was delicious. So, honestly, today's been a very good day so far. Can't, can't, can't complain. Can't complain. It's been good. It's been good. But how has your guys' days been? I've heard, I've heard how it's been for, for Alice. And, oh, Billy. I actually really wanted Billy for this island. 
Oh, okay, we're gonna skip them for now because I know you can get them on Treasure Islands. And I already put my list of the villagers I wanted, but I'm actually going to put um, Billy as a maybe on my list as well. Let me let me add him. Let me add him as well. I have like a huge Google Doc, or not Google Doc, a um, Word Doc going on with like all of my villagers and like the builds. And I am very excited for the list that we have. Who did I want to add? Billy. So right now we have on the list, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten exactly if you add Billy and you include the villagers I currently have. Um, so this is going to be, this is going to be difficult to narrow out, narrow down our villagers. We'll see. We'll see when we get to <laughs> the latter half of this island because we're still very much in the early stages. Elizabeth, thank you for keeping me company in the hospital. Oh, I hope that you're doing okay. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope that you're doing well. And I'm glad that I can keep you company. Hi, Dolly. Happy birthday. Thank you so much, Maya. I hope that you're doing well. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're doing good. My mom got a total knee replacement surgery on the 5th, so things have been a bit hectic, but things have been good. I'm so glad to hear that everything hopefully went well. Um, and I wish your mom an amazing recovery, and I'm so glad that you get to be here today, midnight. I'm so, so glad that you're here to say hello, and I wish your mom a very speedy recovery, and I hope that you are doing well as well. I'm glad everything is still going okay, despite everything. I've been having a very stressful few days because I have a job interview tomorrow, and I'm so anxious for it. Oh, you're gonna absolutely kill it. You're gonna do amazing in your job interview tomorrow. I wish you all the luck in the world. I'm sure you're gonna do fantastically. I managed to call and make my dentist appointment for myself, so I'm so proud of myself for doing that, lol. I'm not afraid of the dentist just making a phone call. <laughs> making phone calls for anything is the most hectic, annoying thing in the world, so I'm fully on your side with that, and congratulations for making the phone call, because I hate making phone calls, too. <laughs> Half of my job at work is, like, having to answer the phones for people, and I hate answering the phone. <laughs> I hate making phone calls, and I hate being the one who has to answer the phone at work, too. Like, I can never do, like, a receptionist job where you have to, like, constantly be on the phone with people. I just, I don't have that mentality. I don't have that ability. I just, I can't. Thank you, we went well. She's recovering well. I'm so glad to hear it. I'm so, so glad. I know it can be a very strenuous recovery when it comes to any major replacements, so I know it, it'll be... It'll be a long recovery, but I hope that she does fantastically, and I wish you the absolute best. I didn't even pay attention to who we last ran into. <laughs> you can tell when I'm, like, reading chat, my brain just, like, shuts off. <laughs> and it comes to, like, looking at chat versus looking at the screen. Which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that, but I'm just very oblivious when it comes to <laughs> doing other doing both at the same time people who manage to read chat effortlessly and play their games i have nothing but respect for them hi dora dora is so cute she's definitely one of my favorite mice for sure i ended up having emergency surgery on wednesday but i'm on the men now hoping to get home in a couple of days oh i'm so sorry elizabeth i hope everything is going well and i hope that you have an amazing and speedy recovery i wish you the absolute best I wish you the absolute best I understand I had you guys know my surgery last year my emergency surgery it's gonna be it can be of course very very scary but I hope that you're doing well and I'm glad to hear that you're on the mend I slept so well last night why am I yawning I slept so last so well last night. Like literally, I had such an amazing sleep last night. Like the last two nights have been kind of like weird with my sleep because I was like afraid to sleep with my arm and like my tattoo. Like I was like uncomfortable. But last night, I guess after a couple of days of like not having a very good sleep, I just I slept incredibly well. So why I'm tired? Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. It doesn't really matter. Apparently, like how many hours of sleep you got, which I got a good, good solid, like probably eight and a half hours. There's no, there's no excuse. There's no excuse at this point. All right, Wilbur, who do we have? Hello. Oh, okay. We got T-Bone. T-Bone? T-Bone. 
I really wanted a cow for this island. That's why I put Patty. But I'm, a part of me is debating maybe I should get like Angus or T-Bone instead. I'm not sure. I do want like a cow for this island. But a part of me feels like maybe like a bull would be better. I don't know. I don't know. I'm very indecisive, I swear. Very, very indecisive. Because I also still have Biff, too, keep in mind. Which, obviously, he's a hippo, so it's not like this, like, that part matters in terms of, like, hippo versus, versus cow. But, like, he kind of gives, like, the same vibe that a bull would, you know? Does that make any sense? And I really want Biff for this island, so I'm definitely not going to be getting rid of him, for sure. I always sleep badly on a new tattoo, just being scared to roll on it and mess it up. Exactly! For sure, for sure, for sure. And for me, like, he... So I got, like, just, like, the black, um, like like the black covering on my tattoo and then he wrapped it in medical tape like he wrapped my arm and the medical tape bothered my skin more than the tattoo like I took off the medical tape yesterday morning and all throughout the day yesterday I had like these like that look like like mosquito bites like appearing on my arm these little like red dots and I'm like okay I know my skin is sensitive but this is just absolutely like I have a really sensitive skin when it comes to getting anything done like when I get a oh that is flurry we're just gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna pass on her bye flurry um when I get any like like medical work done if I get blood work or anything I always really badly bruise after getting needles so I was af afraid I was gonna like get brad bruising for my tattoo but instead I just have got like these weird bumps because of my the medical tape that was on my skin and he tied it really tight like he really wrapped it so like when I took it off like my skin was really tight afterwards which was like a little uncomfortable but yeah I would be I would be very scared like imagine you wake up and like the tattoo is like moved on your skin from sleeping on it weird oh that would be so sad that would be so sad this month has been rough for me so far to be honest my mental health is definitely not in the best but i'm getting by i am in the same spot as you varian so i completely understand i wish you the absolute best and i'm so proud of you for managing to get by day by day because i i know how horrible that mental health can be for my mental health has not been good the last couple weeks. That's part of the reason I haven't been streaming. I haven't been in the right mental space, if I'm being completely, completely honest with you guys. But, you know, it's it's just something you have to, yeah, like you said, get by day by day. Um, but I wish you the best, and I'm so glad to have you here. Hi, Joey. Hello. He is so freaking cute. Joey is just... Joey is just the definition of, like, adorable, you know? He's just, he's so little. He has a diaper on. Like, I can't, just, I can't. I can't, I can't get over that. He's so cute. What did you get? I ended up getting a very small flower bouquet on my, like, upper part of my forearm on my right arm. I posted a, I, I should, I was supposed to be doing a face cam stream today. I apologize that I'm not. I am not dressed to be doing a face cam stream. <laughs> right now but um I did post a picture of it on my Instagram and my Twitter as well and I will show you guys if you don't follow me on there the next time we do stream because I will be doing a face cam stream later this week for sure I'm thinking on Thursday night we'll do a face cam stream like I'll be streaming that evening either way I think so I think doing face cam in the evening would be fun because I'll be getting home from work in the afternoon so then I'll already be makeup and ready to go but yeah if you guys want to see that I will show it to you guys in the stream the next time but yeah it's about like like three inches maybe a little bit bigger than three inches and it is so cute I'm very very happy with it it's my first tattoo I've ever gotten so I'm very very excited to to finally have it after like many years of debating getting a tattoo <laughs> Who let baby Joey in a diaper purchase property and live alone? He's just a precious little baby. He is just a precious little baby. Like, you know, like, there's some villagers in this game where you just see them and you're just like, you are nothing but a child. Like, Tank, Tank is not a child. Tank is like a rowdy college, college frat boy, you know? Um, but Joey, Joey is a full child who, yes, can own property and lives alone. And he makes horrible, horrible decisions, I'm sure. <laughs> but what can you do? 
What can you do? Animal Crossing is, is going to be that way. My therapist says March is the worst mental health month in her practice, and every year March into April is rough for me. Oh, I can feel that. I 100% um, believe that to 100% be be the case. I feel like it's a transition because we also we also have like the daylight savings, which is like good for like our mental health because we're getting more sun. Of course, like today it's very sunny where I am, and it's like. I think it's like 13 degrees outside right now, um, which is very nice for this time of year for us. So like I'm finally getting some, some vitamin D and finally seeing the sun is definitely very good for my mental health because I cannot be shut away in my, my room in the dark all the time. That's why I also have my, like my window fully open, even though I don't get a lot of natural lighting in my room, unfortunately, cause my bedroom just doesn't face that side of the house. Um, but I think, like, that transition from, like, winter into spring can be, like, a really hard on a lot of people. And I'm definitely one of those people that um, struggles to, like, go from the cold weather to the warm weather. And then you're just sad waiting for the warm weather to come. Um, and then there's just, like, for me, especially because it's my birthday in April, like, especially considering this is a big birthday year for me, it's been, it's been very challenging. Um adjusting to like this new chapter that I'm about to start in my life which isn't like it's just a date it is just like a year on the calendar so it shouldn't be a big thing um but if it, it, it is you know it can be very scary Joey he's so cute I saw him last time I was villager hunting but never took him because I already have two lazies and two ducks see the lazies are the cutest villagers though and the ducks are adorable so I don't I don't blame you for having multiple of them but like Joey's just so cute he's so cute I've had him only on one island before he was on my spring one of my spring islands like last year and he's just he's just like a precious baby he's just a precious baby you know they are super addicting. I started with one and now I'm completely sleeved. <laughs> See, my, the guy, so I, like, like I said, it was my first tattoo. We went to, like, a new tattoo studio, too. Like, my sister has a tattoo and she never has not been to this person. So he asked me, like, what I'm getting done and where I wanted to get it done. And I told him, he's like, okay, are you planning on getting, like, a sleeve in the future? Or are you that person who, like, because, like, just letting you know now, like, if you get it here then in the future you're gonna want to like extend it or do this or do that and I'm like I can promise you I am not someone who will probably ever get a sleeve I think sleeves are so sick and they look incredible I am not a person who could ever see myself getting a sleeve tattoo but it looks incredible on people I have a lot of friends who have sleeve tattoos and I just think it looks amazing also kabuki is so freaking cute how many cats have we run into is it been three or four because we're running into every cat except for Monique <laughs> Oh my gosh, but I love, I love Kabuki, but we're not taking him today, sadly. But yeah, I, um, I, I'm like, don't worry, I will never get a sleeve. I might get, like, a couple of other small tattoos here or there, but I will not be getting a sleeve. I, like, I love sleeves on other people, especially when it's, like, a big elaborate sleeve that kind of, like, are all connected into one beautiful design. I don't know, I just don't see myself ever being a sleeve person. But it looks so cool for other people. I have the beginning of a half sleeve, but I haven't had the money to continue it. I'm jealous. I was able to get the sleeve on my leg when I was younger, though. Ooh, see, leg sleeves are so, like, so sick. I love leg sleeves. My sister's boyfriend has a leg sleeve, um, and I think it looks amazing. It looks amazing. He actually, we were talking about, like, the tattoo process and all that. He was having, like, 10-hour long sessions to get his, um, leg sleeve done, and he was getting, like, the back of his knee done, and it was so painful that he actually stopped, like, he, when they finished the process for that day, he never went back to complete it, so there's still part of his back on, like, the back of his knee that's not finished because it was too painful for him to continue at the time and that was like a while ago so he hasn't gone back to get it done yet which like i don't blame him because like that sounds terrifying and very very um painful like just on my elbow like around my elbow was so painful i could hardly imagine how painful it would be like behind your knee like my leg is starting to hurt even thinking about it um so yeah no i do not blame him hi deli deli is so cute he is adorable, but someone mentioned how big his eyes are, and now I cannot unsee it. Like, look how huge his eyes are. Like, those are some big eyes, boy. 
Have a wonderful day. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's continue on. Let's continue on. For me, it's always the middle of November to the beginning of June. That's always the so difficult mental health wise. I feel like it's like the the latter half of the year is always my most most challenging. Like I love fall going into like winter and then Christmas time. And I feel like the second it hits January, my mental health just takes an absolute plummet until around my birthday. Um, so yeah, the last couple of months have been like a very big struggle mental health wise. But you know, we, we were all getting by and we are all getting up every morning and going about our days and some days are harder than others. Um, and if you're unable to get out of bed a day, that doesn't make you any less than, you know, um, I've had days where I have not been able to get out of bed because life is hard and I completely sympathize and I'm here for you if you have the same kind of struggle. So I completely, completely understand. The ankle for me was the worst, but I also had my period the same day as the session. And to be honest, that was worse. Oh no. See, I, w I was on my period when I was having my, <coughs> sorry, I'm coughing. Um, when I was having my um, thing done on Saturday, but the only difference is, is that I was in like, thankfully the latter half of my, um, my cycle. And it was like, essentially like I was finished with the worst of my, uh, my symptoms. I had work on Thursday and Friday and I was having the worst cramps of my life. I was in so much pain and my, my period started Monday too. So the fact that like up until Saturday, Sunday of the last like couple of days, I've been basically dealing with symptoms for almost a week um hurt it hurt me i was not having a good time last week <laughs> not having a good time at all but you know we I, I got through it and we're done with it now so at least i don't have it for my birthday which is like is 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 like a blessing i would say i think it's how big as people's are it makes them look like he's on something he's definitely on something he's like, honestly, like, give me whatever he has. I wouldn't mind being on that for, like, a day, you know, just, like, oblivious to the world. Just kind of, like, turn off your brain for a bit, you know? Happy birthday, Dolly. Thank you so much, Sophia. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And thank you so much for dropping in to say hi. And thank you for the birthday wishes. I appreciate it. I managed to wash my hair today, so I'm pretty proud of myself. You that is honestly sometimes all we can do for ourselves and that is an amazing accomplishment i dyed my hair when i got home last night so i'm all like ginger red right again you guys know my hair color when i when i re-dye it this is probably the last time i'm gonna be dyeing my hair this color too because after um it fades again i'm probably gonna go more like a cherry red which is gonna be very fun for summer i think it's gonna be like much more fiery red versus like orange which i basically have right now like my hair is just like orange orange right now which is cute but like yeah it's a little it's a little extra it's a little extreme and i think i need to like go something a little bit different but i just i love my hair color when it's like this orange red it just it's it makes me feel like myself you know even though this obviously isn't my natural hair color but i love it so I live in Florida, so I tend to get the summer blues every year. It's just way too hot outside to enjoy anything, and I stay inside most of the time in the AC. Honestly, fair enough. It, we're supposed to get, like, here, weather-wise. So the thing in Canada is we get, like, really freezing cold winters, lots of snow, lots of um, cold weather, which, like, this winter has been very mild compared to previous winters. And they're expecting that we're going to get the hottest summer that we've ever had up in the 40s. Uh, which 40 Celsius is like, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. 40 Celsius in Fahrenheit is supposed to be like around 104 Fahrenheit. So I am suspecting I will be spending the majority of my summer when it is that hot inside for sure because I do not handle hot weather well. I am someone who likes moderate weather. I like spring and I like fall. I am not a summer person. Um, so I cannot wait for it to be 40 degrees here and I'm hiding inside my house. Um, so I get that, Heather, fully. I would love to live somewhere where it's hot all year, but I, I'm just not someone who can handle the heat for, for the entire year. Like one of my goals in life was always to move to California. It's too hot for me there. I don't know why I even think for like a second I could manage that in the long term. 
not to toot my own horn, but after 10 years of therapy, I'm finally feeling stable. Maya, that's incredible. That is amazing. Completely toot your own horn. It took me a second to realize how to pronounce that, like, saying. I'm like, not to toot. I'm like, oh, it's that saying, not to toot my own horn. <laughs> I use that saying in real life, too, like, very often. I'm like, not to toot my own horn, but... But that's incredible, Maya. You should be very, very proud of yourself. I have unfortunately never gone to therapy. I think my I could 100% benefit from it because there is a lot of things I feel like talking to a professional would probably help with. Um, but I just haven't, which is not good. I am a complete advocate for therapy. I think it's an incredible, incredible resource for a lot of, that a lot of people can benefit from, especially if you're dealing with um, scary life things and and like trauma and depression and anxiety like i do i have more anxiety than i do depression but the depression is there too you know we're we're, we're here to talk about the real things on this channel even though it's my birthday and i should not be thinking about depression or anxiety but whatever it's okay it's okay we're here for it we're here for it it's fine i'm in the lower midwest and i'm actually dreading summer this year after a warm spring we're having oh gosh you see today has been one of the first few days yesterday and today the weather's been very nice but we've also had very cold weather the last like week or two and it's been very rainy as well so the, su the spring has been very sporadic for us um but i know for sure that the summer is going to be hot i wish you I hope you have a very chill summer nana i hope it's not too too hot i know it can be very 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 unbearable um, the, the heat for sure hi maggie happy birthday happy dally uh, oh my god <laughs> happy birthday happy dally oh wow hi dally happy birthday thank you so much i hope you're having a wonderful day and thank you so much for coming in and saying hi and wishing me happy birthday i appreciate it so 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 much and how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. And anyone else who hasn't told me how they're doing, I hope that you're doing wonderfully. If you were just lurking in chat, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. And thank you so much for spending your day with me. I hope that you guys are all doing wonderful. My coffee's almost finished, which is very sad. It is melting. You know when you get a nice coffee and it's melting faster than you're able to drink it? It is um, not nice. Not nice. All right, who we got? How many tickets have I used? I don't even know. Who is here? <laughs> Before the stream, like I said, we started late because I was I was grabbing tickets because I only had like fifty in my um my storage. I thought I had way 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 more. Um, so I grabbed like well over a hundred on the Treasure Island. So now I just have them all in my pocket, but I don't know how much I grabbed. So I have no idea how much we've used. No idea. Probably close to almost maybe twenty considering we've been streaming for about 40 minutes now. It's in the 80s here, 30... Oh, gosh, no. Today, it's like... I think it's 13 degrees right now. Is that it? What's the weather? It's 14 degrees here, so... Not hot in any... In any capacity for sure <laughs> but my gosh no 30 30 is crazy especially when it's only this it's not even summer yet we're still in the spring but yeah i know a lot of, the midwest does get like really really crazy heat towards the mid-spring to the summer i haven't been there personally so i don't know based on like experience i just know what i've heard <laughs> i have not been to the midwest the only place I've ever been to in the States is I've been to New York, I've been to um, Boston, and I've been to Florida once when I was really young. So, I don't know based on experience. I want to do a lot of traveling across um, the U.S. I think maybe this summer doing some little traveling could be really fun. Um, but I'd have to plan that, obviously. Uh, that is Shari, I think her name is. We're not gonna take her. No, no, no. I do not need a monkey for this island. So we're gonna keep going. Please, I'm looking for... I don't even know who we're looking for right now. I really, really, really want Monique. Because I know Monique is gonna be the most annoying to find. Because she is not on any treasure islands. So, Ava and Patty and Butch, I have their amiibos already. So I'm not really too worried about them. Doby is on, like, a bunch of treasure islands. So we're fine for him. And I'm pretty sure I've seen Kyle on a couple of treasure islands. So Monique is, like, the main... The main villager that we're hunting for today. Midwestern here, it's only it's 83 degrees today and only April. Oh no. 
So it's in like the mid 30s for you guys. This is coming from a Canadian, so excuse me. I know that 80s is like hot for you guys. Not like hot, hot, but like hot enough for you're like, that's really, that's like uncomfortable. And then I know like the 100s are like unbearable. Because like the 100s are usually like the mid 40s for us or like. Basically, don't ask a Canadian to um, transfer Celsius to Fahrenheit or vice versa. <laughs> I am, I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not good at, I'm not good at transferring the things like that. Hi, Fang, how are you? Hello. I wish this was Dobie, because I would take him. Um, we've now run into, like, what, three wolves, too? So three wolves, three cats, but they're not the ones that we're looking for. Also, if this was Kyle, we'd take him as well, of course. If I run into any of the villagers that are on the list today, just keep in mind I am going to take them, even if I already do have their amiibo. The one that I'm hoping we find, though, is Monique. And because there are so many cat villagers, it's like a little bit of a shuffle to find a, a particular cat. That's why I struggled so much when we were looking for, like, cat, the actual villager last year because there was so how many cat villagers are there isn't there like 17 or something like that like something crazy <sighs> did you start your island from scratch i did this is this island i've had now for about like a little over a month and a half probably now but this is a brand new island i always restart my islands from scratch when i finish um so i do have two new islands i'm currently working on this one and then my other summer island which we are not working on today it's 57 Fahrenheit slash 13 degrees in Maine right now, but it's sunny out, so it's super nice. Very, and that's at my exact temperature right now, too. It is 13, 14 degrees here, but really sunny. Like, when I went out to get coffee earlier, I was just wearing, like, a sweater, and I had, like, my sunglasses on, and I'm like, oh my god, it feels like spring. It's so nice. <laughs> Which I will 100% take. Hello. Hey, Jay. Jay is so cute. He's very cute. I like him. I like Jay, but he he's we're not looking for him today. So we're gonna keep going We're gonna keep going. Hi, sweet Che. Happy birthday. Thank you so much I hope you're having a wonderful day so far and thank you so much for wishing me a happy birthday Thank you so 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 much a good way to remember is to pretend the percentage out of 100 like 80 Degrees is 80 hot so pretty pretty hot <laughs> scientific way to do it see to me i know like 80 to 100 is hot for americans but then like i know like 82 a lot of people are like oh it's 82 and sunny so they're like oh so it's like really nice out today but then i i see people online being like it is 102 degrees i'm like oh so you're like dying today okay cool 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 <laughs> i'm not very good i just kind of like estimate based on like how you guys are responding to the like whatever the number is i'm like oh so 84 is hot for you okay okay i get it i get it i know a lot of people usually just go like oh the mid 70s is like a good day with sunny i'm like okay yes i understand what you're saying 100 <laughs> percent Happy birthday, Dahlia. Thank you so much, Haley. I hope you're doing well, and thank you so much for the birthday wishes. We're so happy to have you here today. Thank you to anyone who's dropping in to say hello. I hope you guys are all doing wonderfully, and thank you so much for hanging out with me on my birthday. I appreciate it. Shark Clown, thank you so much. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Of course, I hope you have a lovely birthday. I'm doing fine. Thank you so much. I started playing Sims 4 on my new Xbox. Do you play Sims 2? That is so fun. And I do not play The Sims. I am... One of my goals for 2024 is to start playing The Sims on my computer. Like, start playing PC. Um, so I actually, like, last month, like, wrote down, like, a bunch of mods and stuff I wanted to add to The Sims. I just never got around to actually, like, being like, oh, this is what I'm gonna do. Like, okay, I never actually, like, figured it out, you know what I mean? One second. My mom's like, can I vacuum? Yes, go right ahead. Um... What was I saying? But yeah, I don't play The Sims. I used to play The Sims like a long, long, long time ago on my old PS2. Which is very different than how The Sims is played right now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm hoping to play it one day. Like to actually like actively 
play it. There's so many, like, fun mods. I don't know if I'd be, like, the person who played the game, like, did, like, um, challenges, or if I just decorated, but I'm not, I'm not 100% sure yet. Guess what? I actually nearly finished my island. Oh, that's so exciting. What did, what's your, what's your, um, theme, if you don't mind sharing? That's so exciting. And another kangaroo. That is... Harry, if I'm remembering correctly, we're not gonna take her today. Gala is adorable. Gala is so cute, and I'm still so happy I decided to have her on my um, pastel Kikor Island because she was just so precious. She's so cute with her little flowers and like her little face. She's adorable. I love her. 57 sounds so nice today. It's 80 in Florida. Not too bad. Also depends on the humidity. Oh, for sure. I swear, half the time when it's hot here, like if it's 25, which like, okay, let me just do, let me do the math one more time. Hang on. 25 Celsius and Fahrenheit. So 25 Celsius and Fahrenheit is 77 Fahrenheit. So if it's 25 and like sunny, but there's like a really cool breeze, that's like one of my favorite types of weather in the summer. But if it's 25 and there's like humidity, get the hell away from me. I hate humidity. I hate humidity. I sweat so easily. I'm not to overshare, but I am like... I am someone who very easily gets hot, so I do not like when then it's really hot outside. I just, I can't handle it. I can't. I'm not someone who enjoys the heat at all. I just need, like, moderate, you know? <laughs> moderate temperatures, moderate temperatures. I'm about to take a nap. Glad I could join. Enjoy your nap, midnight. That is a wonderful idea. I, I support, I support naps. I am a pro-nap um, person always, and I hope you have a wonderful nap. And you get the exact amount of sleep that you're looking for and you don't wake up groggy. That is, that's the, that's the struggle. Okay, we've already found Wolf, so we are skipping him again. Goodbye, Wolf. Have a great rest of your day. But yeah, I hope you have a wonderful nap. And thank you so much for dropping in to say hello. Happy birthday. I hope you're enjoying your special day. Thank you so much, Alex. I'm having a very good day so far. Very chill, relaxing day. Honestly, you can't ask for a better birthday when you're not just having, like, relaxing, relaxing day, you know? Like, I'm all for, like, doing crazy things on your birthday, but at the same time, like, when you get older, like, you just want to chill. <laughs> it's all that I could ask for at the end of the day. I just woke up. Ooh, good morning to you then. Good morning to you. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. On my days off of work, I've been very, very, very bad at waking up late. Um... And I've been waking up at like 1 or 2 p.m., which is so bad. And my goal for my new, my, like, my, my birthday, my birthday resolution is to start waking up early. Like, not early, early, but like 10 a.m. on the days I don't have work. Which is like perfectly a reasonable thing to do. I just have to like actually force myself to set an alarm and getting up at that alarm. Uh, kid court and it's going to be how a child sees the world. It's always so cold when I go on holiday to a hot place, but when I'm home, I get so hot. Yeah, I'm the same with that. But also the kid core idea sounds so fun, especially like the whole like the way that the child sees the world thing. That is so sweet. I hope you're having a wonderful time with it, and I'm glad that you're almost finished with your island theme. It's always so fun when you're almost finished an island, but then you're like, okay, I have like these three very small areas. I have to finish, and then I have to decorate my house still. <laughs> so it's very exciting, but then you're like, okay, I'm just like, I'm finished with the island. Can I like just finish and reset already? I swear, once I get to like the 70% mark when it comes to a lot of my islands, I get to the point where I'm like, I just want to restart. Which <laughs> is really bad because I love working on islands, but like I, I'm the worst at trying to finish them. Which I'm trying to get better at. I think you just lose steam after a while, you know? Because it does take me, like, several months to finish an island, depending on the type of theme or depending on how actively I work on it, too. So sometimes it can take me, like, four months to finish, sometimes five or six months. And then by, like, the fourth month, you're like, okay, I'm finished with this island theme. I'm ready to move on. <laughs> All the... Villagers are like parents or slash teachers. Oh, that's so sweet. I like that theme. I really like that that like little twist and spin you put on it. That is very, very cute. I also started drinking wine. I'm on the hunt for a good one to try. Ooh. 
See, I love wine. I'm very bad at recommending wine, though. Because <laughs> I'm just someone who likes whatever's given to them. Like, I got a bottle of wine last night for my cousin for my birthday, and my cousin is a very big wine drinker, and she's like, oh, this is, like, my favorite type of wine. I'm like, I can't wait to try it. But she got me a red wine, and I, I usually end up cutting red wine with, like, Sprite, because I, um... Usually a lot of red wines are very dry for me and I usually do have to cut it with something to make it a little bit more sweeter. Also, it makes the wine bottle last longer too, so little tip. Um, but I, uh, I'm not very good at like recommending wine. I just usually like anything that's like on the sweeter side. I'm definitely more of a white or rosé wine drinker. Um, uh, just like a good Chardonnay. I'm very, very, I'm very, very basic <laughs> when it comes to my wine choices. What villagers are we looking for? We are hunting for... Sorry, I have to pull up the list again. We are looking for Dobie, Monique, Ava, Patty, Kyle, or Butch. Particularly, we are looking for... Um, for Monique, though. Just because she is a villager that is very difficult to find. Um, and she's never on any treasure island. So, <laughs> I'm hoping really to look for her today. But we'll, we'll, we'll see who we find. We'll see who we find. I see so many pretty and creative islands, but I struggle to come up with ideas. Any tips? My top recommendation is to go to, like, YouTube, for example, or Pinterest. Um, and then just look up themes that you find interesting or enjoyable or something you might be interested in trying to do. And then just maybe create, like, a mood board based on, like, different builds that you find and see. Um... Honestly, I think Pinterest and like YouTube and Twitter, for example, or Instagram are a great, great way of like finding themes that you enjoy. And then you can take inspiration from other people's builds. I'm not saying you have to directly copy someone else's builds, although I'm sure a lot of people usually find inspiration by doing that. But like just creating a mood board based on your preferences of what you find enjoyable in decorating for Animal Crossing. And then put your own spin on it. Find like a like a path code you're really interested in decorating with or a a build that you really like that you would love to try replicating. Cuz at the end of the day, like finding inspiration from other people's builds is probably one of my top suggestions for creating your own islands. Um, or do the exact opposite. Find a theme that you don't think anyone else has ever done before and just put your own spin on it. And then just kind of like find like one, like I said, like one path code that you think would work perfectly for like your theme and then just base your entire island off of that path code. I've seen some people base their entire island off of like one road coat that they found that they loved and the entire island came together just because they found this one road coat that they really wanted to use. I've done that before too and it's a great way of kind of like trying to build an island when you're not entirely sure what the theme could possibly be. Also trying to get out of your comfort zone and try a theme that you've never done before or you don't see a lot of people doing is a great way to kind of like be creative and use Animal Crossing as like a creative outlet. Like I did that for my um, abandoned jungle city. I don't think a lot of people have ever done that theme before and it was fun to kind of be creative and experiment with a theme that there's not a lot of people out there that have also done it. Um, and even this island that I'm currently working on, like my western ghost town a lot of people have done western islands before but i've not seen a lot of people do kind of an abandoned version of it so it's very fun to kind of experiment with a different theme that is kind of similar to what other people have done but also is a little bit unique specifically to me you know hopefully that made a little bit of sense savion blanc is my favorite white and chantin i can never pronounce this word Shantini, okay, <laughs> is a great a great red for beginners. I know how to say the word in my head, but then I go to say the word out loud and it does not um, compute to my brain. But yeah, Sauvignon Blanc is a really good white, for sure. Or a friend or anyone who like is close to the child. I just need to get the stories on the villagers in a city and then I'm done. Ooh, so you're almost finished. That's exciting. I'm glad that you have lore for your island. That's the one thing I've never really done is created like actual stories and backgrounds for my characters and like a story for my island. But that's very fun. That is very, very, very fun. 
I prefer sweet whites. I have a sweet red wine by Megatron. Okay, I'm not going to try to pronounce that word. Um, and then a pink uh, Moscato from Shutterhome. Ooh, oh, Shutterhome. I cannot speak today. Oh my goodness. I appreciate all of you being patient with me as I get used to actually reading chat out loud again. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I'm definitely more of a sweet red, white, and rosé person. I cannot wait for the summer when it is officially um, rosé and white um, sangria season. I love wine sangria so much. It's like my favorite summer drink, and I can't wait to have them. Thank you so much. I appreciate... Oh, no problem. No problem. Hopefully, hopefully my advice helped. <laughs> even a little bit. Even a little bit. Um, also, oh, another thing we're going to do today is um, I'm going to be gifting the five channel memberships today as well. Um, I have ten channel memberships that I can gift to people um, and last month, I only got a chance to give five out of the ten. So I think I'm going to do that right now. So if you would like to be a channel member, make sure you have your channel membership gifted option turned on for like, so you can be gifted free channel memberships from other people. So I have the option of gifting five channel memberships today, and then we'll do five more channel memberships the next time I have stream. But I think for the birthday, for my birthday, I really wanted to gift the five. So I'm going to do it in a second. Let's just go see who we have on the island. But make sure your channel membership gifting option is turned on. Um, if you go to, depending if you're on mobile or, ooh, who's this? Oh. Hello, Velma. How are you? Um, just make sure you have your channel membership get to turn on. If you go to the join channel memberships option on my channel, or if you're on mobile, if you go to that channel option on my actual channel, um, there is like a free little like little dot button option that you can click and then it says make sure you have the gifted turned on for not just my channel, but any channel. Just so you don't miss out on the option of getting gifted if you would like to be gifted a channel membership and what it gives you is it gives you access to all the perks that come with being a member of the channel okay let me let me just open my thing hang on let's actually get to my stream thing to do it okay okay I'm going to close the poll, by the way. Thank you to everyone who liked this stream. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Yours is turned on. Fantastic. Okay. If you don't know what I mean when I say that, you go to the join button on my channel. If you're on, this is for if you're on desktop. If you go to the join option, which is next to Cozy Dahlia, my name on my channel. If you go to the join option, you'll see the word membership. And then on the top right corner, there's like a free button little thing that gives you an option to click for like settings if you go to gift settings it gives you the option to say allow gift it says you can receive a one month membership to channels you interact with including cozy dahlia make sure you have that toggled on so that you're able to be gifted a channel membership and yeah you'll get access to everything that comes with being a channel member including members only emotes um and really a lot of other really fun perks Thank you so much. Happy, uh, happy birthday. Sending you lucky vibes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. And thank you so much for dropping in to say hello. Okay, we're going to do the channel membership right now. Let me just open it. Um, Membership gifting. Gift five now. So I'm going to gift in five, four, three, two, one. Gift right now. There we go. So congratulations to all the channel members. Congratulations to Haley, Shark Clown, Lindy, Lisa, and Livy. Congratulations on being channel memberships for the next month. I hope that you enjoy. Thanks, you're welcome. And just in case anyone is wondering, it is completely randomized, so I do not get to choose who gets the channel memberships. Um, and like I said, we will be doing more of the channel memberships um, later this month, so. 
I came back at the right moment. Oh my god, thank you so much. Of course, Livy. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you so much. And congratulations. I hope you enjoy all the perks that come with being a member. And welcome to being a member again, Haley and Shark Clown as well. Yeah, enjoy the channel perks. Oh, we found Patty. Okay, do I want to take Patty? That's the question. <laughs> we are hunting for her. Um, but do I want to take her is the question. Because I have her, okay, I have her amiibo, so I could leave her now and then, like, come back, and then I could just get her through the amiibo. Or should we keep, should we keep hunting or should I take her? You guys decide, should I take her or leave her? I should not have included the villagers I already have the amiibo cards for on the list. Because <laughs> now I'm like, okay, like I said I wanted to take her, but, like, I have her amiibo card. Okay, let's just, let me just get stung. I don't even care. Alright, let me, let me, let me fix myself. Let me fix myself and then we'll go. My nemesis. <laughs> I have many tickets left. I think keep looking. Okay, you guys think so? I, I, I kind of, I'm kind of on your side. I kind of agree. If we come across her again, I'll take her. And yeah, like I said, but if I have, if I have her, if I have her amiibo and like, it is early enough on in the thing. Like, look at all the tickets I have left. Like, we're good for tickets. Okay, we'll leave her for now. Fine. Okay. I'm on your side. I agree. I kind of saw, I saw her and I was like, eh, I don't really want to take her yet. Like, I like Patty. She's fine. That's why I'm debating having her for this island, but like... Yeah. Keep looking, because if you have her amiibo, then it's like you basically already have her. Fair enough, exactly. I fully agree with you. Like, she's cute, too. Like, don't get me wrong, but, like, we can definitely... We can for sure find another villager, you know? I 100% agree. <laughs> Keep looking. Agreed. Agreed. Leave her a manifesting Monique. I am too. Thank you. I am too. Cause that that will be the hard villager to find. Patty's on Treasure Islands too. So if anything, if I'm too lazy to amiibo her in, we can find her on Treasure Island very easily. <laughs> Sounds like you're not excited about her. I'm more ex okay. The only difference I'm more excited about other villagers. If that makes sense. Like I'm excited for her, but I'm more excited for other people, you know? Like, I'm really excited for Kyle and Monique and Dobie. Like, those are the villagers I really want to find. Like, Butch. I'm even a little bit, no offense, more excited to see Ozzy than I was to see, see Patty. I'm not the biggest fan of the cowgirls. I don't know why. Ozzy's freaking adorable. I love him. I wish we could take him, but he does not fit the island theme, so we gotta leave him behind. Sadly. I love Ozzy. He's one of my favorite koalas, hands down. He's just so cute. I think I just have a soft spot for, like, every single lazy villager in this game. <laughs> Ozzy, 100%, because he's, he's so precious, you know? He's just so precious. Okay, let me drink some water. I've only been drinking my iced coffee, and I'm feeling very dehydrated now. Good, good, good. Okay, now that we've left Patty, we have to manifest Monique. Manifesting Monique or Kyle. Those are like the two main that I'm looking for. Because everyone else I can get via Amiibo or on a Treasure Island. Kyle I could probably get on a Treasure Island too. I'm pretty sure I have seen him on like a couple of Treasure Islands. But um, if I found him in the wild, I'd be very happy too. Like when I was going villager hunting, I found um, Buck. And I found Kyle while I was hunting for Buck, but I was looking specifically for Buck, so I left Kyle behind. And, like, a part of me was like, I'm going to regret leaving Kyle behind, aren't I? <laughs> so, hopefully I don't leave him. I don't regret it. Aw, Mac. No, what is his name? Is it Mac? No, what's his name? What's your name? Oh, my God. Walter. Walter? Walker. Oh, my God. I was so close. <laughs> Walker, hello, you're so cute. Oh, I'm so sorry I called you Walter or Walker. No, I'm sorry I called you Walter. I'm so, so sorry. Your name is Walker. You're adorable. I love the dogs, okay? 
And he's so cute, but he's not Butch, so we have to leave him behind. Oh, this reminds me, I finally have all the dreamies I want on my Forever Island. Ooh, that's so exciting. That's so exciting. Do you have, like, a particular theme you're working on right now? Is it kind of, like, just, like, a general, like, Forever Island, like, norm core? I want to do a Forever Island so badly, but I just know I'll finish it and be like, okay, time to reset. <laughs> I'm just not capable of keeping an island forever. I'm just too... I don't know. I'm just incapable of keeping one island. I want to, and then just kind of, like, change it up based on the seasons. But, like, I just, I have so many island themes I want to work on. You know, I'm too, I'm too, like, indecisive. Thank you for the manifesting. Thank you for the cat and wolf emojis. I love it. We'll find them. Knowing anything based on, like, my luck, though, we're probably gonna find, like, every other cat and wolf that we can find except for Kyle and, um, Monique. <laughs> Come on, Monique. Come on, Kyle. Come on, Monique. Nope, that is Apollo. That is Apollo. Honestly, like, I appreciate stopping in and saying hello to some of the villagers because it's just, like, you know, being, like, kind. But at this point, I'm just, you know... We have places to go and villagers to see, so. By the way, if we do not find a villager today, we will be continuing the hunt later this week. Like, tomorrow or Wednesday. So, here's hoping we don't have to continue the hunt, but we will, if, if need be. Because I refuse to, like, autofill or anything. I want to find, like, good villagers. <laughs> I'm a completionist, so Forever Island would never work for me. Oh, for sure. Because there's always something that you could change for a Forever Island. No for the villagers, but decorating-wise, I'm going for a Western Island right now because you inspired me to. Ooh, fun. Fun, 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 fun. If I have a Forever Island, I would finish it, but then go to delete it and completely forget that it was a Forever Island. <laughs> I would probably do the same thing, if I'm being completely honest. It's just so much fun to restart. Okay, all I saw were giant eyes coming at me from, like, the top of the tree. And I was like, who is that? Hello, Puddles. Hello, hello, how are you? Puddles is very cute. She just... I wish she didn't have the two colors on her face. I wish she was just, like, either pink or red. Like, just pick a struggle, you know? <laughs> Not pick a struggle. Pick a color. <laughs> Just pick a struggle. Are you pink or are you red? Oh my god. No, I'm, I'm so stupid. <laughs> oh my god, I'm talking like I haven't gotten any sleep. Uh, it's been a little while since I've streamed. If you couldn't tell. If you couldn't tell, I'm not that smart. It's okay. It's okay. You guys know that I'm not the smartest person. It's fine. Did you ever finish the abandoned Western one? That's what we're working on now. That's the one that we're currently on, um, Haley. And no, I haven't finished yet. We've, I've done two builds for that so far. <laughs> Not even close to being finished. I have a forever island from 2020, and I had a second switch because I couldn't bring myself to delete it. Fair enough. I'm probably, so anyone else who's, like, like waiting for, like, the second, the new Nintendo console to come out. So I have two switches right now. I will probably be selling one of them and then getting the new console. Okay, why do we keep running into this one kangaroo? Go away. Go away. But yeah, I currently have my two switches. I will probably be selling... Um, my original Switch, and then keeping my Animal Crossing Edition one, because, like, the one that I have is, like, the OG Switch with, like, the green and red Joy-Cons, and then my other Switch is the Nintendo Animal Crossing Edition one, so I'll probably be selling my OG one and then getting the new, um, Nintendo console, but whenever that one decides to come out, which I know is supposed to come out this year at, like, some point. I get my fill of restarting by watching you and Angry Coconut. <laughs> Angry Coconut resets a lot, too. <laughs> it's okay. I'm like a chronic restarter, so so is he. Um, there's actually a lot of chronic restarters in this in this community. And then there's like other people who have islands for like forever. Like, um, 
trying to think of who has like a for, like an island that they've been working on for a long time. Like Lex Play has like a, an island she's been working on for a long time. Um, I'm trying to think. There's like a bunch of people. Kato is working on a new island right now. I think I saw her streaming and she was um, what's it called? She was um, code shopping. I think it was yesterday the day before. That is a gorilla. I do not want a gorilla on this island. No, thank you. No, thank you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much, Adriana. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Thank you so much for dropping in to say hello. And thank you so much for the birthday wishes. I sold two of my switches and kept the one I modded. See, if I had a modded switch, I would I would be so happy. But sadly, neither of my switches are moddable. And I didn't want to have to buy one because I'm cheap. <laughs> but yeah, if I had a modded switch, I would like... That would be the only switch I'd need. 100%. How rude of me. I gave input on Patty earlier and didn't even wish you a happy birthday. So happy birthday. No worries, Brittany. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And thank you so much for the birthday wishes. I appreciate it. Okay, let's keep with the hunting. Come on, Monique. Come on, Kyle. Especially Monique, though. Please, please. I still play on a Switch Lite. The only reason I have a Switch that it has the dock instead of the Switch Lite is because you can't stream on a Switch Lite. And I knew when I first got my Animal Cross, like when I first got my, my Switch, that I was going to be like streaming and making videos and like all that stuff. So at the end of the day, it's the only reason why I have like two full Switches, both with docks versus like a Switch Lite. And then maybe one with the dock. Because it's also, like, in much cheaper to also get one with the, the Switch Lite, which I, like, when I when I convinced myself to buy a second Switch, I was like, why am I, why am I buying this? Why am I spending another $500 on a second Switch? Like, you can't tell me that I'm good at financial, like, financially, yeah. You can't say that I have good financial responsibility, because I do not. I do not. Also, that was Bubbles. We do not love Bubbles. Bubbles would fit the theme, I think, but I don't. I don't want her. I only restarted once I finished my island, but I've had like seven or so islands. Yeah. I have reset a uncomplete island three times, I think. Maybe. F yeah, I think about three. I've re. Actually, wait, hang on. See, because I've like reset three times at least, but I also completely demolished an island like when I was like about like halfway through finishing it and restarted with a new theme. So if that counts, technically I've done it like four times. I haven't figured out how to apply mods or be on ghost Wi-Fi. See, that would be my big struggle. Is I'm not good. Like, I'm pretty good at figuring out how technology works, but I feel like I would just make my entire Switch break if I tried to add mods um, and, like, do anything with it. But at the same time, like, that's the whole point of having a modded Switch, you know? But, yeah, that would, that would be a difficult thing. I'd be watching tutorials on YouTube for hours. Before I even tried to do anything because I'd be like, okay, let's see if I can figure this out. It's fine. Um, we're gonna we're gonna make it work. It's okay. <laughs> That's how I figure out how to like set up everything for like OBS and stuff. I just watched like a hundred YouTube tutorials. Kabuki, okay, good to see you, buddy, but you're not the cat we're looking for. And I've already seen you, so I don't even know why you jumped across the river. That was like my version of saying hello to you, but you're not Monique, so I have to keep looking. I'm so sad that it's not Monique. But it's okay. It's okay. If you haven't already, feel free to like the stream. Maybe that'll encourage Monique to appear. She'll manifest in front of us. Or Kyle. Or basically any of the villagers that are in my description. Minus Patty, because we already left her behind once. It's fine. Basically, we're just mainly looking for Monique or Kyle. And if you are just dropping in, hello, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on my birthday. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. Even if you're just lurking, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so, so, so much. I feel like I have to start saying that more often. Because I appreciate the people who lurk. I am someone who usually just lurks in other people's streams. I almost never chat unless it's like a friend of mine. But usually I'll have like a stream on in the background for like three hours. And then I'll realize I haven't talked in chat once. And I'm like, oh yeah. I think I maybe said hello at the beginning. But otherwise usually I'm just like, I'm like that person that just chills in the background. Because lurkers are the foundation for streaming. You can't even tell me that it's not true. 
Because you could have like 10 people watching you, but if there's only two people in chat, those are eight other people that are just there to support you, but they're just silently supporting you. So if you are a chronic lurker like myself, then just know that I appreciate you so much. And thank you guys so much for the likes. I appreciate it so, so, so much. Uh, I want Kyle on my island so badly. So do I. <laughs> I've had Kyle on two islands in the past, but he, so he was my first ever campsite villager on like my first ever island. And then I had him, I think he auto filled once, which is like very good luck because I love Kyle, but he was never a permanent villager. Like he was there for a little bit. There was one other island I kind of wanted him on and then I didn't end up having him. And I think that was my trash winter city because I was like, oh, he kind of really fits trash core. But like I have other villagers I want more so then I didn't have him, but he's very cute and I'm very, I'm very, very excited to have him. Hopefully we can get him today. Hi, Mickey. Welcome in. How are you? Welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Thank you so much for dropping in to say hello. And Gail. Yes, I love Gail. Gail is so sweet. Hello and happy birthday. I'm lurking while I'm villager hunting as well. Well, hello, Skid A Crossing. I hope I'm saying that correctly. But thank you so much. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for the birthday wishes. And good luck with your villager hunt. Wishing you the absolute best. We're both going to find the villagers that we're looking forward for today. Whitney is not the villager I'm looking for today, but she is a wolf. So I feel like we're on the right track. I've seen at least four wolves today so far. We've seen her, we've seen Freya. We've seen Fang. Have we seen another one? I think that's it. So we've seen at least three. So we're on the right track. We're just, we're just, we're just not finding Kyle. Um, <laughs> I wanted to Kyle a few times and I never actually went through with it. He's just, I think for this particular theme, he'll work so well. Um, so I'm very much hoping that we can find him today. Like, this is one island I'm like, he would fit the theme so well other than like i feel like he would fit like once again like i said like a trashed city core island or like just city core in general i think he'd fit really well but i really 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 want him for this island so here's hoping it's a great day i had ribs for lunch Ooh, yummy i haven't had ribs in a while actually a couple weeks ago actually <laughs> not a while i probably like a couple weeks ago like maybe like two or three weeks ago <laughs> ribs is something that my family actually has for dinner quite quite often but that sounds delicious. That sounds delicious. All I've had today so far is a breakfast sandwich, which was so good. It was like bacon, eggs, and cheese, which like the best type of breakfast sandwich that you can have. Is that an anteater? Yeah, no, I don't want an anteater. I don't even know which one. Is that Annalisa or something like that? I don't remember her name. Elise? I don't know. But we're leaving her behind. It's okay. It's okay. Hi, Barry. Hi, happy birthday. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And thank you so much for the birthday wishes. I appreciate it. Ow, I had like a like a cut on my ear and I just, and now it's bleeding. Ow. Sorry, I'm oversharing and that's disgusting. So I don't know why I told you guys that, but it hurts. <laughs> oh my God. And I'm wearing, I was wearing a t-shirt earlier today and then I put on a sweater when I went out and my tattoo is now itchy. So it's bugging me. Whoever said that the itching is going to be annoying, you're right. It is very annoying. I think it was Becca. Did you say that? Did you say that it was itchy? That it'll be itchy? Because it is very itchy. So I'm like patting it. Which really hurts. <laughs> Oh my god, Fang is at my campsite today. Fang is so cute. If you can't get Kyle, Fang is a good alternative. Because I really like Fang. Fang is one of my favorite, my favorite, um, wolves for sure. Hello. Quilson looks like a, <laughs> he looks like a trust fund baby. Like, he just, he looks like a trust fund baby. Like, with his hair and his little sweater. Like, this, this guy is going to take over his dad's company and be CEO of a company. He's not going to know what he's going to do with his life. Like, he doesn't know business. This guy is like a child. I <laughs> Every time I see Quilston, I'm like, oh, trust fund baby. He's a Nepo baby. 
Cute, cute. Oh, well, yeah, that's gonna get worse. Oh, no. I'm just not gonna think about it. I'm just not gonna think about it. It's fine. It's fine. I can handle it. I can handle it. It feels like it's everyone's birthday today, because I heard today, um, people's birthday at my school, and I heard it, like, ten times. Oh, no. I guess April 15th is just a very common birthday. It's okay. I'll, I, I'll take it. I'll take it. I've only ever met, like, a couple people in my life that had the same birthday as me, including, um, one of my, my sister's ex-boyfriends had the same birthday as me, so we always celebrated our birthday on the same day. He's a year older than me, too, so it was really funny. Um, and I do, I do share a birthday with, um, with, um, Emma Watson, the actress from Harry Potter, who plays Hermione. Which is very exciting, because I love her, and I, I'm glad that we share that she's my birthday twin. Not mad about it. When you can switch to a moisturizer that will help a bit, just gently pat it. Yeah. I've been... See, I got such mixed reviews about whether or not you should be putting moisturizer on your tattoos, because, like, my... The guy who did it says, oh, don't apply moisturizer. He's like, just let it scab over and let it heal properly. And then, yet my sister and my mom, who both have tattoos, is like, yeah, no, put a lot of moisturizer on it and vitamin E. I'm like, who am I supposed to be listening to? Like, I put a scent-free moisturizer on it three times so far. Um, and yeah, I'm not, like, rubbing it. I'm just definitely, like, gently, like, letting it air dry and, like, kind of, like, just patting it into my skin. But, like, my skin looks fine right now. It was red yesterday, and now it's just, like fine like it's not like irritated it's just like a little bit itchy right now like you said um but there's so many different like people saying like oh online go yeah you're supposed to moisturize it and keep it really moisturized and then other people going no just leave it alone and don't touch it the only consensus is, is that it should not be submerged in water which like i'm not about to go swimming anytime soon so that won't be a problem and, like, even yesterday when I washed it, like, I was really, really careful when I washed it. Because I was like, I don't want it to, like, get ruined. I guess it's, like, the first time jitters of having a tattoo. You're, like, nervous that something bad is going to happen to it, you know? <laughs> yeah, after, like, five days, you can moisturize it. Let it scab the first few days with washing it with gentle fragrance-free soap. Uh, I'm not sure what day you're on. I am on day two. I did put moisturizer on it, but like a little bit, like not like a crazy amount. Um, but yeah, I will, I will leave it alone. I will leave it alone for sure. I trust you. Hi, Pango. Goodbye, Pango. Having a celebrity birthday twin is so fun. Oh my god, mine is Dove Cameron. I will always be happy about it. See, Dove Cameron is amazing, so I'm very jealous of you. The two, two like the, um celebrities that I know like I share a birthday with other than um Emma Watson is um oh my god what's his name see now I can't remember his name <laughs> one sec hang on what's his name um is that his name Cody Christian he was in like a bunch of things he was in Teen Wolf um he played Arya's brother in Little Liars he's also my birthday twin his birthday is April 15th too I think he's a year older than me yeah, or you're younger than me. Yeah, he's he's 95. So his birthday is today, too. But he's 29 this year. Um, are there any popular villagers that you aren't a fan of? Um, I mean, there's none that I don't love. I'm not the biggest fan of Judy, if I'm being completely honest. I don't hate her by any means. Um, I just don't really get the hype of Judy. And Raymond. I've had Raymond on an island, and I like him just fine. But, like, the obsession that people had with him when the game first started, I never fully understood. <laughs> Most artists will give you a special tattoo cream to put on it. I think mine is called A&D. Ooh, okay. I will have to, like, look up, like, good creams for it. I've just been using, like, a very gentle, fragrance-free moisturizer, which I haven't had any issues or problems with already. <sighs> But I think, yeah, for sure, I will just, like, let it, let it breathe, let it scab over and heal properly. Um, and then, yeah, I've been using fragrance-free soap as well. 
Who is that Olive? That's Olive. Hello, sweetheart. I love you. I love Olive. She is a villager I didn't really fully understand the hype for, but then I've had her now on two islands, and I'm like, no, she's like the cutest. Like, look how look at her little face. Look at her little face. She's so she's so cute. She's so cute. Her and Maple are another villager I didn't really get the hype with at the beginning, and then I'm like, no. They're adorable. I love them both very, very much. <laughs> I'm very easily susceptible to cuteness, and they are both so cute, and I've now had both of them on multiple islands, so I can't really say that anymore. <laughs> also, like, my favorite villager of all time, actually, my two of my favorites are both very popular um, villagers, which is Marshall and Audie, so I, I really love... I really love, I really love my popular villagers. I don't care. I mean, Marshall's my favorite villager of all time in this game, so at the end of the day, it is what it is. And he's been my favorite since, like, the second I started playing Animal Crossing, so. <laughs> oh, I have Olive on my current island. She's adorable. She's so cute. She's, like, the simplest design, but that's what makes her so perfect, I think. Happy birthday. Thank you so much, Electric Eel Cookie. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. And thank you so much for dropping in to say hello. Lenny Kravitz, aka Zoe Kravitz's dad, is my birthday twin. Literally exact age. Not disappointed. <laughs> I kind of love that, though. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, we have Phoebe. Hello, Phoebe. Unfortunately, actually, Phoebe, not gonna lie, would actually kind of be cool for this island. I don't know why I think having a phoenix on a western island would be a choice, but she she would fit. But I'm not I'm not gonna take her. I'm not gonna take her. All of the villagers that I've chosen for this island are pretty basic color schemes, except for like like Butch is red. So like some of them he has like a little bit of color to him. But like nothing nothing too crazy. Also, if you guys can hear my dog barking in the background, I think someone just came home, so I apologize if you guys can hear that, but yeah, what can you do? Okay. Let's see who we can find. Welcome back, Barry. Welcome, welcome. And if you are just dropping into the stream, I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Thank you so much for dropping in, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We are currently hunting for a few villagers, but mainly I'm looking hopefully to find either Kyle or Monique. And we are hunting for my western abandoned um, ghost town. And it has been a while since I've been on stream, so if you haven't, if you don't know which island we're working on, I, yeah, I'm working on my, my western ghost town. I always forget the title I gave it, but yeah, my western ghost town. Caroline is a good choice. She fits the color scheme and also requests a western home. Oh, does she? Oh, she could fit, too. She could fit, too. Let me put her as a list of, uh, as another one as a list of potentials, because I do have more than 10 villagers on my list of, like, villagers I might keep. Um, let me put her kind. Yeah, she would fit the theme. She's not too colored. She's not too brightly colored. She's like, I mean, she's yellow, but like, she's not too crazy for, okay, we keep running into this one gorilla. What is this gorilla's name? Is this Boyd? Yes, it is. Hello, Boyd. Why do I keep running into you? I don't want you for my island. Okay, now that I've talked to you, will you please leave me alone? So I'm pretty sure this is the third time we've seen him. Um, and even though we have a lot of tickets left still to use, I don't appreciate the repeats. <laughs> I don't appreciate it because I have villagers to see and I don't want to see you. Okay. Please, Monique. Please, Monique. No. I can press the right buttons and then we can hopefully find Monique. <laughs> but I'm not pressing the right buttons anymore. Oh my god, you can tell I've not been villager hunting or playing Animal Crossing correctly recently because this is just not working. Yes, let's go. Thank you. Let me just update my thing in here. Okay. 
I don't know if anyone in chat is a Bridgerton fan, but if you guys have been seeing all the promo for the new season, I am so excited. I know we have talked about Bridgerton in the past on stream, but I'm not sure who in chat has watched the show. Um, but I'm very excited for season three. That has like been one of the few things I've been thinking about lately, and I'm so excited for next month. Oh, okay, we found Tipper, not not Patty. I mean, I've already found Patty, but we're not gonna cheat Tipper because I don't want her for this island. Tipper's like probably my l okay, no, actually Naomi's my least favorite cow, but Tipper Tipper's probably second least favorite. Like I like I think Norma's my favorite. And then Patty, for sure. I don't know. Even though Tipper's just like kind of like your basic cow. He's just, I don't know, not my favorite. Not my favorite. You've watched it? Do you like it? Are you a fan of the show? I'm super excited for Pollen. I am so excited. They're my favorite, they're my favorite um, couple on the show. And they just, re like, I don't know if it got, sp like, leaked or if someone just posted, like, they just got posted, but a bunch of stills got released again for season, t for the part one, and they got released today, and there's a lot of, like, very revealing, um, photos, and, like, some very, very, like, interesting photos that people have released and i'm losing my ever loving mind like i was screaming when i saw some of them today because <laughs> they look so good and i'm so excited oh my god i'm so excited uh sorry i just love bridgerton it's one of my favorite shows i went to look for your picture of your tattoo and only found bridgerton tweets <laughs> yeah um <laughs> I can I can repost the picture or I'll retweet it if you if you didn't get a chance to find it. Yeah, I post a lot about Bridgerton on my on my um on my on my Twitter. I couldn't help myself. It's all over my timeline. It's just the only thing I like to I like to talk about. And now it's less than a month away, so I'm very very excited. It's okay, but they kept dragging out the new season. Oh yeah, that's that's one thing I will agree. But I have waited longer for other shows in the past, so for me this this was like nothing. But I'm very much ready for it to just be be like be released. Like they they like dragged this out for like no reason. Like they stopped fi like we're filming over a year ago, so I don't know why they took it so long. Um, but yeah, no, I'm fully on your side about that. I just, I'm so excited. They're my favorite couple. So I just, I, I just am so anticipated of their season. I know it's going to be incredible and I just, I can't wait. I just can't wait. I did find it. LOL. It's so cute. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm very, very happy with it. I can't stop staring at it. <laughs> I just rolled my sleeve up and now it's like, I can, I'm just staring at it. Which is like really silly, but one thing my when I got it done, my tattoo guy was like, "Yeah, you're just gonna be very aware of it for like a while, and then it's just gonna become like a normal part of your like everyday like life, and then you're gonna be one day you're gonna be like, oh, okay, that's there." Thank you so much, Mari. Hello, Dolly. Happy birthday. Thank you so much for being a member for seven months, and thank you so much for the birthday wishes. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it so much. Hello, Curly. Curly is adorable, and I love him. But how are you doing, Mario? I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. It's so good to see you. And thank you so much for the birthday wishes and for being a member for seven months. I appreciate you so, so, so much. You guys know this is my one year also anniversary of streaming, too. I actually forgot to include that in the, um, the thing when I was... <laughs> making my stream thing but i think it's been a full year i'm pretty sure my first ever stream last year was when i did my birthday stream i could be wrong i'm actually going to double check that right now because i'm I, i'm trying to remember if that is if that is accurate let me see um hang on date Oh no, April 3rd. No, it's a, that was a test stream. Oh, I missed my anniversary for my birthday for my first live stream. Oh, that's so sad. It's okay. We'll just we'll ignore it. We'll ignore it. It's fine. It's fine. I think it was collectively as a group saying happy birthday. <laughs> You're so cute. Thank you. Appreciate that. Ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to me. Oh god, I'm not a good singer. I am not a good singer. 
But thank you so much, Electric Eel Cookie. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh my goodness, you guys are so sweet. <sighs> my, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, my cheeks hurt from yawn, from smiling today. Cause like waking up and like getting all the messages and everything, just it makes you so happy, you know. It just makes you so Dobie. Oh my god, no. <laughs> okay, should I take Dobie? No, I want to take Dobie. You guys, we, I, I need, I need, I need him. I need my Doby. Or should we leave him and keep hunting because we'll find him later? You're very welcome. I'm good. I actually just woke up. It's literally 12 p.m. I love it. I love it. Sleep in. Get that get that rest. I love it. And I'm doing good, thank you. I'm doing good. We we I'm stressed because I want to take Doby. <laughs> Should I take him? Yes. Dobie is a must, but he's on Treasure Islands. Dobie's such a sweetheart. He reminds me of my grandpa. Oh, I love that. Dobie's a must, but he's on Treasure Islands. You're right, but I want to take him. Okay, can I, can I, can I take him? And then we'll, we'll open up another, another slot. Um, I'm going to take him. I'm going to take him. You guys are right. I had to take him. He's like, he's Dobie. He's my, he's my guy. He's my, he's my favorite. He's my favorite, um, cranky, like, by far. Okay, I'm gonna go open another, um, plot, and we will hunt for about, probably another, like, 30 to 40 minutes. Um, and then we can, and then we can, um, we'll continue the hunt in the next thing. But we'll see, we'll see how many tickets we use and how many villagers we maybe come across. But I'm happy with that. I'm happy. <laughs> take Toby and then we can listen to happy birthday for six hours. That would probably get a little annoying after a while, but I do appreciate the sentiment. <laughs> happy birthday. You're so lovely. I hope you have the best day. Thank you so much, Holly. That's so kind of you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so now we have Dobie, so I can officially take him off the list of found villagers. Let's take him off. So really, we're looking mainly now for Dobie or Kyle and Monique. Like, that is my main objective. Let me also change the prompt. Just so we don't have the issue for the command. Okay, that should work. All good now. But I'm very happy with that. We can't just not take Dobie, you know? Like, it's, it's, it's Dobie. He's, like, another level. And now it's raining. <laughs> of course, now it's raining. Okay, let me open up my last plot because I do have one more plot available. And like I said, we'll go villager hunting for another like 45 minutes. And we'll see, we'll see who we can find. Back what happened, we found Dobie. So I took him because it's Dobie and I needed to. Um, so now I'm going to open up another plot and we're going to go villager hunting for another like 45 minutes or so. Happy birthday. Thank you so much, Sapphire. And thank you so much for being here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And thank you so much for dropping in to say hello. Oh, Dobie. I'm so excited. I love him. I just, I love him so much. You know, it's hard. It's hard not to love him. I mean, it's Dobie. It's Dobie. Like, what? Um, hang on. Let me see this. ACNH. What? Oh, okay. Monique is a snooty villager. And Kyle is a, um, what's it called? A smug. I don't have a smug. Oh, no. Sorry, punchy. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. I hate when I do that. Um, I don't have a snooty or a, um, a smug villager on my island right now. So hopefully she, um, she, we can find both of them. What's your plan for Monique? LOL, she doesn't seem to fit. She's actually going to be the saloon owner. So, like, you know, like, how, like, when you, when you're, like, thinking, like, western town, there's always, like, kind of, like, a, like, rundown bar or, like, a saloon. She's going to be the saloon owner. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm, like, losing my voice. Oh, my gosh. Um, let's talk homes. Oh, wait, no. No, wrong one. Yes. Let's talk infrastructure. But, yeah, she's going to be, like, the saloon owner. So she's gonna be like the 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 like the, the call girl that owns a saloon, you know? Hopefully that makes sense. 
I feel like she fits it perfectly and like yeah she obviously doesn't fit like the idea of like a, a desert town but I'm gonna make it work like I'm gonna make it look so good I think hopefully that hopefully we can we can we can make it look good <laughs> I don't know we'll see oh my god that's so perfect for her right I think it's gonna look good and I've always wanted to have Monique and I think I feel like she's a very once again like another niche villager punchy I am so sorry for ignoring you please do not hate me okay let me <laughs> let me just go put the, the the thing down for for the the house plot I feel so bad for ignoring him oh no too close Happy birthday. Thank you so much, Penny. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. And thank you so much for dropping in to say hello and for the birthday wishes. Thank you. I love it. Okay, I'm glad. Do you see? I'm glad you see. You, hopefully you see the vision. Like, I'm going to do, like, the, the the build for it when we get her her um, her on the island. I'm going to do the video for it. And I think it's just it's going to look so good. Okay, before we can go hunting, we, of course, have to go say hi to Doby. It's like... We have to, of course. So let's go say hi to him. And then we can go on with the hunting. Hello, Dobie. How are you? I missed you. Yes, I did. I wanted you and I love you and you're perfect and you're just, you're amazing. And okay, bye. He's going to look so cute with a cowboy hat on, by the way. <laughs> I keep giving all my villagers cowboy hats, <laughs> like the Outback hat. And I'm like, you guys will all wear this hat. I swear to God. I, I think I've given Butch like four hats because he keeps taking it off. And I'm like... You will wear this hat, and you will wear it with dignity, and you will wear it with pride. And they keep taking it off. Because <laughs> none of my villagers like me. They don't want to wear the hats that I give them. It's so it's so mean. Okay, let's continue with the hunt. And see who we can find. I'm really hoping, once again, Monique or Kyle is like our number one. But if we find any of the other villagers, then we will probably take it. Either way, we're going to continue the hunt later this week if we don't manage to find a villager in the next like 40 minutes or so because we're probably going to go to like two and a half hour mark today so we'll see who we can who we can find if we don't find them it's okay but here's hoping that we do because i feel like the gods of luck are on my side today we found doby but my my top goal is to find monique though because she's not on any treasure islands. <laughs> I always seem to want at least two villagers that are never on any treasure islands, which is like my own problem because I'm like, all right, I have to hunt for them and it's gonna take me like a thousand tickets to locate them. So that's exciting. Um, let's see who we can find. And that is a, fr that is, that's Carrie again. Okay, I said I was lucky today. That's a lie apparently, but at least it's not raining on the treasure islands, which is, or the Mr. Islands, which is nice. I hate villager hunting when it's raining. I don't know why it bugs me, but yeah. Um, who do you have to kick out? Um, so for, when we kicked out Doby, I kicked out, um, Jacques. He was my campsite villager, so we kicked him out, but then I just, opened a plot because I had one plot left. I had nine plots open, so I opened up my last my last one. So I didn't have to kick out anybody. Thankfully. Thank you so much, Brittany, for becoming a member. Thank you, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy all the perks that come with being a member, including your members only emotes. And make sure you join the members only chat in Discord as well by linking your Discord to your YouTube. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And welcome. <laughs> I keep forgetting to say the whole welcome part, but welcome. Thank you so much. I'm like losing my voice. I have not been streaming lately, you can tell. <sighs> People who are able to like do like five or six hour streams. How do you not lose your voice? How do you not lose your voice? Oh, is that Peaches? Peaches. Hello, Peaches. You are not who we're looking for. I also already have my horse for my island, so we're just gonna pass on you. But good to see ya. Good to see ya. Peaches is cute. She's cute. I like her. I do like her. Sorry. Drinking water. I got a new water bottle. I don't know if I told you guys this. I got a, um, a Walla, like, last month. I love this water bottle so much. It is my new favorite water bottle. I'm not someone who buys a lot of water bottles, 
But my other water bottle I've had for like three years now, my hydro flask. So I'm like, you know what? It's time to upgrade. So I got the Owala and I love it so much. It is such a more compact water bottle. And I love the drinking mechanism. And it has like the closing click thing and it's easy to carry around. I just, I love it. I love it. You should get someone to make a sticker for all your islands like a cowboy hat for this island. Oh, that would be so cute. That would be very, very cute. Okay, please, Monique. Or Kyle. Either way. Okay, we're just getting all the duplicates. Hello, Elmer. I said you were cute, but... I also just said I do not want another, um... <laughs> horse, so Nintendo apparently took that horse, so you want another horse. No, I do not. No, I do not. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm gonna keep going. But I appreciate seeing you. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, let's see who else we can find. Hopefully. Monique, if you are just joining in, the list of the villagers I am looking for is in the description. It's also available in the chat as well, hopefully if Nightbot works correctly. But my main hope is that we can find Monique or Kyle. We already found Doby and I already invited him onto the island. So now we are hunting for the rest of the villagers. If Nightbot wants to work. Maybe he just doesn't feel like working anymore. That happens very often. Nightbot just like stops. Which is fine. But I appreciate if you would just work correctly. I don't know how, how bots work. I don't know. They just don't want to work for me. No, no, they do not. Ah, oh, well, it's not working. But yeah, we're hoping to find Monique or Kyle. Either way, either way, let's just keep, let's just keep, let's just keep the hunt going. <laughs> okay, come on. And no, that is Snooty. I do not want an ant eater, and I do not want Snooty. I just thought for a theme based on my last comment, like God Core, but you split your island into into five, and like each part is an old island you made. Oh, that could be really cool. I've seen other people do something similar where they, they like second sectioned their islands into like different seasons, or like different themes just because they wanted to be a little more creative with it that could be really fun i wouldn't mind doing an island where i kind of mix my old themes together because there's some old themes i really loved i really loved when i um when i made them did i not type the word villagers rightly when i did that did that command let me try that again Hmm. Oh, now it's working. Okay, whatever. I'm not about to question Nightbot and why they decide to work or not to work. Nope, nope. Monique, are you here? Nope. Okay, we're finding the wolves again, so I'm not mad, but this isn't Kyle. Hello, Wolfgang. How are you? How are you? Wolfgang is so cute. Like, so cute. Okay. Oh, they got my, I got my switch band. Oh no, how did you do that? Why? What happened? I'm sorry, I went silent for a second. I was fiddling with Discord. You should check it when you have a chance. I shall. Oh, 
You have a modded switch, yes, but what did you do to get it banned? Because tons of people have modded switches, but they don't get, like, banned. What happened? <laughs> Something didn't go right, so now I'm restricted by Nintendo. Oh no! <laughs> Nintendo is just mean. Like, the way that Nintendo handles people, like, breaking their rules, and I use that with quotation marks, is just absolutely ridiculous sometimes. That is actually insane. I really, really hope that they would just, like, chill out. I wish Nintendo would loosen up on mods. For real. It's just it's just ridiculous at this point. Where's my villager? Hello? Oh. <laughs> he blended in with the background. Hi, Ward Jr. See, Ward Jr. would actually fit the theme too. I just, I don't know if I want a frog on this island. He is cute though. I do really like Ward Jr. Okay, we are running into... Um some smug villagers so i am having hope that hopefully maybe we can find kyle if you don't find money but uh, i guess we'll see i guess we'll see i don't know if luck is on my side today no i need a new switch i'm so mad i literally just sold my old and switched light no oh god that can be so frustrating i hope everything gets solved i just i i hate it i hate it i'm so sorry Haley. <laughs> Nintendo just needs to chill out. Like, they have, like, the beef that Nintendo has against people who, like, break their regulations and their rules just doesn't make any sense to me, but, I mean, like, I don't know. I don't know. I hate it. Like, I saw him, like, they were, when they like, were going after, like, creators who, like, added mods to, like, Breath of the Wild and, like, Pokemon and stuff, like, it just, like, it frustrated me so much. Like, what are they doing that's hurting you? Like, just leave them alone. Like, they were following in the, the licensing rules, too. And they still, like, went after them for no reason. That is a lion. I don't want a lion. What is his name? I don't remember his name. I do like him, though, but we're not taking any lions for this western island. So we're going to keep going. <laughs> See who else we can find. Orville, I love you. Can you please bring me to an island that has Monique or Kyle? And if you bring me to an island that has another cat or another wolf, we're going to have some issues. We're going to fight. And I'm going to fight a bird today. <laughs> I'm getting to the point in the villager hunting where I'm, like, starting to negotiate with him. Like, you know, when you get to the point where, like, you start to, like, reason with Orville and Wilbur. And you're like, okay, I feel like we can come to some sort of agreement here where, like, you give me the villager I want and no one gets hurt. You know, like I don't take your little your little plane and fling it into the ocean. You know, and no, that is stew. That is a cow. I don't want a, a cow. I do a cat. I kind of want a cow. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want stew though. Doesn't exactly fit the color scheme. Okay, I'm gonna actually add to my list either Angus or Patty because a part of me really want Angus now that I'm thinking about it because I'm gonna be doing like. A, a ranch area for the like a bull like a bull ranch with like you know what I mean like cows um and I don't know if I want to do like a ranch for Patty or for for Angus because I think it could be kind of cool to have Angus because I've never had him before I've never had Patty either but I have had other like cows like Norma so I don't know. I don't know. He can't be bribed for anything. I can try. <laughs> you just start, you, you you have to like see what he what 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 they can be bribed with. You know, like I feel like there's something there has to be something. 
that Orville and Wilbur want, you know? Like, something. Remember what I said? Do not bring me to an island with another another wolf. And then you bring me to Freya, who we've already seen today, too. I feel like you're just mocking me now, Wilbur, and this is not fair. This is, like, just, like, a level of disrespect that I refuse to tolerate, and it's not, it's not nice. It is not nice. Wouldn't it be cool if you could have an item that summoned a villager, but it has to be in the first ten... Like, you have orange in your inventory, you have a chance of getting tangy. That would actually be really, fu like, really fun. Like, a way to kind of, like, spice up the hunt. Um, and be much more of a creative way to, like, villager hunt. I just don't think Nintendo would ever be that creative and fun. But I, I would fully support that. Like, fully support that. Kind of like if you're, like, it's like when you're playing Stardew, and if you, like, follow these particular steps, then you get this thing that you want. Same thing. Like, I feel like if I follow these, like, particular steps, I should be able to find Monique on a treasure, on a, on a mystery island, you know? Okay, my coffee has been sitting here for so long, it's basically turned into, like, watered-down coffee, and that is not... That's not that good. It kind of tastes gross. <laughs> I'm being completely honest. Um, okay, where's my villager? Where's Monique or Kyle? Nope, that is a... That is Astrid. That is a kangaroo. At least it's not Carrie. I guess I can take that as a win. A little bit. Well, I guess I'm not getting another switch now. No. There has to be some way to to get unbanned. Have you tried to have you tried to look it up on YouTube to see if there's a way to like remove the ban? Is it like a permanent ban? Or is it like a temporary ban for like breaking the rules? I've never unfortunately dealt with it so I'm not exactly sure sure how it goes but hopefully it's not like your permanent ban and you're able to to get your thing back that is just not fair absolutely ridiculous I hope you're able to figure it out Haley I'm so sorry Come on, Monique. Come on, Kyle. And if you are just dropping in, welcome in, welcome in. Make sure to like the stream if you haven't already. And yeah, we're currently looking for Kyle or Monique, or basically any villager that's in the description list right now. But um, hopefully we can find Monique. That is like my my top my top villager that I'm hoping to find today, but we'll see who we can find. I'm really I'm really hopeful. I'm really hopeful. So far we've already found Doby and we managed to get him on the island now we're hunting for another villager and we're just finding all the kangaroos today i like rooney i like him he's cute he's cute i definitely like him over some of the girl kangaroos i think it's just because he doesn't have a joey because like he's a boy um but i really i don't know i just i don't i don't want rooney i want monique and kyle <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, but I can't even research the switch completely. Oh, no. Oh, God. I hope you managed to figure it out. Like, I hope it's not, like, a permanent thing. I really, really, really hope. Hi, honey. Thank you so much. Happy birthday, dear. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. And thank you so much for dropping in to say hello and wishing me a happy birthday. I appreciate it so much. And to anyone who's just lurking in chat, thank you so much for hanging out with me on my birthday. I appreciate having all of you around to hang out with me. And thank you so much for being patient with me as I've been doing my little um, hiatus. Unnecessary or unplanned hiatus <laughs> from streaming. I'm so excited to be back and I'm so glad to be here with you guys today. I've missed streaming so much my anxiety and just life in general have gotten in the way of me streaming and I'm so glad to be back and thank you guys so much for the likes on stream and for getting us to 60 likes today I appreciate you guys so much more than you know like really more than you know I appreciate you thank you so much everything says there's no way to fix it unless you buy a new switch completely that is insane no I'm really hoping that's not the case like, I'm really, really hoping that's not the case. Is that Croak? I love Croak. Oh my god, hello. He is, he's so silly looking. I love him. He's one of my favorite un underrated villagers. Like, he is just a guy, you know, living his best life with his mustache. He's so cute. I love the frogs are some of my favorite villagers lately. I just, he's so cute. He is just so cute. I love him. Oh my god. Hi, Rose. Thank you so much for the birthday wishes. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Thank you so much. And hi, Emma. Thank you so much for the birthday wishes. I hope you're doing well. And thank you so much for dropping in to say hi. 
And thank you so much, Holly. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. You guys are just so sweet. I've missed, I've missed hanging out with you guys. Like, seriously, like, I don't know. Being back streaming, it just makes you realize how much you miss it when you're away for, like, <laughs> several weeks, as I have. I think the last time I streamed was definitely over three weeks ago, which is not, like, the craziest hiatus anyone's ever taken, but it was an unexpected time away, so the fact that, um... Oh, it wouldn't? I have no idea how to even set up for rating, so, but thank you for trying. I appreciate it. It's no problem. I don't even know how to turn on raid options. Like, is there a way to, like, how to raid? How to turn on raids? YouTube. <laughs> I didn't even know that, that was an option to turn them on. No wonder I don't get raided. It's fine. I appreciate it, though. Thank you, Flurs. <laughs> thank you, Emma. I do appreciate it. I don't know that that was the thing that I had turned off. Oh, well. You can tell how little I understand YouTube. I'm <laughs> clearly not that smart. Okay, let's see who we can find. Come on, Monique. Come on, Kyle. That is Eloise. Hello, Eloise. You're not who we're looking for today, but good to see you. Good to see you. It's okay, now you know. Yeah, I will figure that out after stream. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you for letting me be aware of it. Because obviously I know how to raid. Like, I've raided other people before. I didn't even know that I had mine options turned off. But I will definitely figure it out after stream. But thank you so much for dropping in to say hello either way. I do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, muting myself to cough. Oh my god. My allergies are bugging me. Like, it's no one's business today. I am else like, dealing with seasonal allergies, like, terribly lately. Like, don't know why. This is, I don't know. Whenever the weather changes, I immediately go into, like, the struggle mode when it comes to my seasonal allergies. And lately, it's been, like, a cough with, like, a weird itch in my throat, which is really annoying. But it's, it's, it's been manageable, you know? It's okay. <laughs> Alright, we're going to probably stream for another, like, 20-ish minutes. We'll see how many villagers that we can find in that um, period. Here's hoping we can find um, one of our dreamies in the next, like, 20 minutes. But... I'm going to remain optimistic, but also realistic, you know? Hi, Callie. See, Callie's a perfect villager. She's so cute, and I love her, but she's not who I'm looking for today. I'm streaming. No. One second. I am currently streaming live, yes. Yep. Very cute. Okay, bye. Bye. Guess yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was my sister showing me her nails. She just went and got her nails done. I was gonna go get my nails done too, but I already was streaming. And all honestly, I was someone who got her nails done like realist, like probably every three weeks for like a good over a month, over over a year and a half, like every month. And it is expensive to get your nails done. So I'm currently in a saving up era. So I'm not going to be spending money. So I'm hoping that by not getting my nails done for a little while, I'm saving up a little bit. Um, and honestly, it's just it's not something I really need to be spending my money on right now, you know. Um, gotta go ready for work. Have a good day. Thank you so much, Emma. Have a great rest of your day. I hope you had a wonderful stream, by the way. I forgot to say that. But thank you so much for dropping in to say hello. And have a great rest of your day. And I hope you have a good day at work as well. Um, hello, Rex. We've already seen you. I don't, I don't want you. Don't want you on this island. No, 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 no. Uh, I have Callie right now. She's too adorable. I've had her, I think, on two islands, like, permanently. And she is just so cute. She's probably one of my favorite squirrels after Marshall and Poppy, for sure. Like, probably, like, my second favorite girl squirrel. Like, maybe, like, her and, like... Who else do I really love? Actually, I love a lot of the squirrels. <laughs> but Poppy and Callie are two of my favorites. And Callie just fits so many, like, different, like, um themes. Just because she's, like, so versatile and, like, an easy color scheme to work with. So, I like her, too. 
Happy birthday. Thank you so much, Easter. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for dropping in to say hello. I appreciate it. And thank you so much for the birthday wishes. I do. I do appreciate it. I'm always saying I'm in the saving era and then I spend money. <laughs> yeah, me too. But I have been really good with like not frivolous spending lately just because I am really trying to save up. If you guys don't follow me on um, Twitter or Instagram or whatever, I also have started like um doing digital art so i have been like trying to save up some extra money by doing um some commissions which if you guys didn't know i do do commissions for some art i've been like practicing and getting into my art era you know um <laughs> but i do have that it's kind of like a little side thing that i've been doing to kind of save up a little bit of extra um extra money but yeah, it's really hard not to spend money. But right now, I'm kind of, like, trying to, like, pay off, like, my credit card and, like, just be a little bit more, um, intentional with my spending. Which can be very, very hard because, like, there's just so many things to buy, you know? <laughs> and, of course, every single hobby I have, which is, like, reading and playing video games and stuff, can, like, really be expensive. Like, really be expensive, especially books. Like, books are so expensive nowadays. It's actually crazy. Um, but yeah. No, I'm on your... I, I, it's, I, I completely get it. <laughs> I completely get that. Um, for the last two weeks, I said I'm in my saving era. Guess why I have been doing? Saving. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, I get that. I get that. I've, I've been better with my spending lately than I have been in the past. Which I'm very proud of myself for, but... You, I just buy my, you buy yourself like a couple little small things here or there and then suddenly you've spent like a couple hundred dollars and you're like, wait, how did that happen? How did that happen? How did all of these like $10 purchases or $20 purchases add up so quickly? How he said he'd buy me another one, but I feel bad because it was a big deal when I had my other two. Oh, I, I know, I know. He's very kind to, to want to get you another one though. That is very, very sweet of him. I hope you managed to figure it all out, Haley. Hopefully, if, at least if you're not able to um, get your the mod one fixed, then hopefully at least something something can be figured out. I'm so sorry. That is the absolute worst to deal with. I'm so sympathetic for you. I like Nintendo just drives me crazy sometimes with their their restrictions and everything. Hi, Greta. Greta's cute. Greta is cute. She's she's cute as far as the mice go. Like her and Dora are probably like the two cutest mice. And like Petrie. Petrie is like one of my favorites. She is a so cute. Oh my god, I saw them like a quick over and I was wondering how you made them because they were so cute. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I've been, um, I've always been like into art. Like I've always been like someone who's been like really into, um, sketching and like art when I was younger. And then I got a iPad a couple years ago that I used for like school and everything. And then I started practicing on Procreate. And yeah, I'm kind of like still practicing my style, which is why if you ever commission me for a piece of art, like my art is very affordable. Like I think my most expensive one is like $8. Um, but it's been fun to practice. And obviously the more I can see the, the growth in my art skills, especially over the last like couple of weeks. Um, because I've been doing that when I haven't been at work or doing anything else. Honestly, that's taken up the most of my time lately. Um, half the reason I haven't been streaming, I guess you could say. <laughs> or making, like, any other content. Um, but yeah, it's been fun. It's fun. It's another, another creative outlet. It's a very, um... It's a very fun thing to do. I've always loved art, and it's fun to get to experiment with digital art for the first time. Like, I've been doing it for, like, a couple of years, but I've been really, really taking it seriously for the last, like, couple of months. Hello, Alice. This was Alice, right? I didn't even pay attention to her when she was talking, but I'm pretty sure that was Alice. Not who we're taking today, unfortunately. Good to see her, though. Good to see her. Also, I haven't said this yet, but thank you guys so much for the new subscribers. We've gotten a couple new subscribers during stream. So if you are a new subscriber here, thank you so much. I do appreciate your support. I hope that you enjoy my content and stay around for a little bit. And I hope that I can keep you company during streams and entertain you. I do post other content. I don't just stream. I do post a lot of YouTube videos as well. 
Um, and I'm going to get back to posting rather regularly, hopefully in the next couple of days or the next week or so. Um, but thank you so much for sticking around. I hope that you enjoy the content and I appreciate you so much for, for subscribing. Appreciate you. My goal is hopefully to get to 14k soon. We're like almost there. My goal for my birthday was to hopefully to reach 15k and then obviously with like a life and then my like very very horrible schedule the last like month or two i haven't unfortunately been able to be active um but hopefully we can get back to that is that pico that is pico or pico 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 everyone says both i've seen i usually say pico and she is so cute i love her she's one of my favorites honestly all of the, the little cubs are so cute and she she's one of my og favorites she's just so cute She's so cute. Oh my god. Okay, but unfortunately, we can't. <laughs> I haven't seen her in a while, so I'm like, oh my god, I forgot how cute she is. But sadly, we cannot take her today. It's good to see her, though. I'm very sad we have to leave her behind. It hurts me every time we leave the villager behind that I actually really, really like. <laughs> like, it's hurting me a little bit. Just a little bit, but she is sadly not meant for a western island. I could probably make it work, but... She, 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 she'll be, she'll be better off on another island, you know? Another island where she's better fit for the theme. Okay, Orville, we have like 10 minutes left of stream today. I would really, really, really appreciate it if you would bring me to Monique or Kyle or any other villager that's on my list for today. I would really, really, really appreciate it. It's my birthday, like, just be... Like, just be, be, be cool, buddy. Be cool. Like, it's my birthday. Like, the one thing that you can at least do for me is just, like, give me the villager I want, you know? That's it. That's all I'm asking for. That is not who I'm looking for. That is Benjamin, who I love, and he's actually on my other island right now, so we're not going to be taking him, but I do love him. I was looking for a wolf, not a dog, so try again. I meant like my birthday comes past and my birthday money. Oh, I spend my birthday money like the second I get it. I got birthday money this past weekend and I'm going to be the responsible adult and put it all into my savings <laughs> like a loser. I'm actually going to use it to pay part, like pay back some my credit card and stuff like that. But like you just want to take your money and be like, oh, it's just it's free money. It's money I like didn't work for. It's just it's just it's just here. And it's money I wouldn't have had either way. So, like, let's just spend it however I want to. Like, no, I have to be a little bit more responsible than that, unfortunately. But, yeah. I understand that, like, the urge just to, like, throw birthday money at, like, whatever, you know? So, I'm on... I completely... Completely understand that. The urge to spend it is, is strong. For sure, for sure. They're gonna get a horrible review. Zero stars, hor horrible Yelp, Yelp review. I'll turn it to a full Karen. I don't care. Hello. Oh my god. Blair is so freaking cute. Yeah, she's one of my favorites too. She's one of my favorites too. She's just, look at her little face. Look at her little face. Oh my god, she's so cute. Okay, I'm happy to see Blair, but she's not who we're looking for again. So, um, try again. You have another nine minutes. Bring me to Monique or Kyle. I'm not even, I'm not even joking anymore. Wilbur, do your job. And he's like, I'm doing an amazing job. No, you're not. No, you're not. And then I'm like, also say, oh my god, I have money. Let's spend it. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, and the older you get, the quicker you're able to spend money. The quicker you're able to spend money. Like, if you were, like, if you're, like, 20 and you go out shopping, like, I mean, I guess maybe it's a little bit different now than it was when I was 20, like, 10 years ago, Jesus Christ, but, like, if you were, like, if you were, okay, back when I was 20, I could spend, like, $200 shopping, and that would be, like, oh my god, I just spent so much money. If I try to spend $200 right now, I could spend $200 in one store in like 10 minutes. Not even 10 minutes. Because things are so expensive now too. Which is like terrifying. Let's not even talk about that. The cost of living and the cost of stuff like groceries and like everything else. Horrible. What the f Okay, how is this nice? 
This is disrespectful. This is my birthday and you bring me to him. That is, that is, that is. <laughs> that was, that was like a blatant attack against me. It is my birthday. Why would you be so mean? That was so mean. Oh my god. Wilbur needs a reality check. He's not good at his job. Ugh. $200 just for groceries. Oh yeah. $200 just for like basic groceries. That's not even like getting extra stuff that you want. That's like just getting like fruits, vegetables, and like meat to make dinner. Like that's not even like buying a bag of chips because you want like a bag of chips in your pantry. That is just like the basics of basics. That is buying like a carton of milk, a dozen eggs, a bunch of fruits and vegetables, like a couple, and then like a thing of chicken breast. And then you're like, oh, $180. <laughs> and you're like, I'm sorry, what? Like I went to Walmart two days ago to buy socks and I spent $50. What did I, what did I buy? What did I buy? How did I spend $50 when I went in to buy socks? I went in to buy basic white socks. How did I leave with over $50 spent? And I'm looking at my thing going, I cannot be right. But I bought four things and it was $50. I just, everything hurts. <laughs> it was greasy hair. <laughs> Your greasy hair. Your ugly face. <laughs> Your horrible looking blazer. Who is that? Is that Zucker? How have we gone villager hunting this entire day and this is our first octopus? Oh my god, that's hilarious. I just realized we haven't run into a single octopus yet. Except for now Zucker. That is insane. How have we not run into a single octopus yet? Oh my god. Now we're gonna run into Marina because I just said that. We're gonna run into Marina and then Octavian like simultaneously one island after the other because <laughs> I've jinxed it. Oh uh, god. They're trying to be funny. They're not being funny. They're being cruel and mean, and I don't respect it. Like, I am too old for this. I am too old to be disrespected like this. $50, what is wrong with the world? Honestly, and at Walmart, too, where stuff is supposed to be, like, good prices. It's a level of disrespect I just cannot take. It's just disrespectful. Between, like, being disrespected at Walmart and being disrespected with Orville here, like... I can't. And, like, I, of course, because I didn't bring a reusable bag, I just left with, like, this stuff in my hand. And I'm, like, struggling to get across the parking lot. Because who wants to buy another reusable bag? And, of course, I didn't have one with me, so. Everything's just a struggle. Everything is just a struggle nowadays. Okay, we can probably do, like, another, like, four tickets. Who is here? Okay, Jeremiah, I love you, but you're not who we're looking for. Okay, we're gonna do another three tickets. Or four. Let's, in, let's do three because I'm 30. So we'll do another three, like, we're not gonna do another 30 tickets. We'll do three tickets. <laughs> so three for 30 minus the zero. Logic, it makes perfect sense. And thank you guys also for getting to 71 likes. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you, thank you. And to everyone who's hung out today, whether you're talked in chat or you're just working and hanging out, I appreciate you so much, and I thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I've loved talking with you guys. I have missed streaming. I have missed hanging out with you all, and I'm just so grateful to, to uh, get a chance to hang out with you guys again today. No, stop it. What I'm so mad. Jeremiah is one of the two I need. Oh, no. Okay, I'll send Jeremiah your way. You can take Jeremiah. I'll take Monique and Kyle. Because I really want Monique or Kyle. Please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. Okay, we have the climbing island, which, like, builds anticipation. I feel like I really like this island. Like, I know a lot of people don't bring their ladder because they want to avoid having this island but I like it because it forces me to like build the anticipation of going up to the top and then I see like Billy who I love because like I love Bill not Billy Bill um but I don't want him because he's not for my island but he's cute though and it's like I'm glad to see you but not not who I need 
not who I need. Okay, we have two more islands to go for today. Let's see if we can possibly get a dreamy. Weird things have happened. I have managed to find a dreamy in a very small amount of tickets before. Am I gonna be lucky today though? Like, is today gonna be lucky? Like, birthday luck, you know, birthday, birthday stream, birthday luck. Is God of luck on my side? Probably not. I mean, I'm pretty sure he has better things to do than to bring me a villager I want. But here's, we can hope. We can hope. If you haven't liked the stream yet already, feel free to drop a like. Maybe it'll, it'll encourage Orville and Wilbur to do their jobs and to actually bring me to the villager that I want. But, I mean, who knows? Who knows? Probably not. <laughs> I feel like at this point, nothing is gonna encourage them to give me Orville or to give me um, Kyle or Monique. But I'm going to be optimistic. Although rather apprehensive. I don't know. I'm a little bit scared. Come on, come on, please, 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 please. Um, I see a oh. Uh, See, it's a wolf, but it's chief. I saw the 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 pink sweater, or the pink uh, thing, and immediately knew it was chief. I'm like, okay, that's not Kyle. Kyle would never wear a white button down with a pink shirt tied around his his shoulders. You know, just doesn't exactly fit his like rebel vibe. So, sadly, not him. But we did run into a good villager, and we ran into a wolf. So, at least I'm capable of finding a wolf for sure. <laughs> Okay, last island of the day. Everyone cross all your fingers and toes. If you can cross your toes. I know that can be pretty challenging, but try. Try to cross all your fingers and all your toes and all your eyes. And let's see if we can find we can find a villager. Let's see if we can find Kyle or Monique. Please come on, Orville. Come on, Orville. I can only stare at your face for so long. Please let me find them, please. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm afraid to look. Okay, let's walk very slowly. Oh, I see ears. <gasps> the disrespect! Klaus, really? The level of disrespect right now? That is absolutely unacceptable. Unacceptable. I have to do one more. I have to do one more island. I refuse. I refuse to end the stream. Even if we didn't find who we were looking for, I refuse to end the stream on a bad note like that. Absolutely refuse. I will not do it. Mm -mm. The amount of villagers I have found today that have different disrespected me, absolutely not. You have one more chance. Come on, please. <laughs> I'm losing my voice here. I actually am losing my voice. <laughs> Apparently two and a half hours of just talking is just too much for poor little old me. Okay, come on. Last one. Okay, let's go. I'm not gonna do another take if this is the last one. Oh, Matilda, Matilda. No. <laughs> I'm not even gonna go say hi. What am I doing? No. Okay. Alright, no. It was not. It's okay. It's not. It's not good. But it's better than it's better than Klaus, so ah, uh, that's unfortunate. That is an unfortunate ending, but it's okay. We found Dobie, and we will one hundred percent find Monique and Kyle in the next stream. So I am gonna wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today for my birthday. I appreciate you all so 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 much. I'm so glad that we got to hang out again today and I've missed you guys so much and I'm so glad to be back. If you haven't already, make sure to drop a like on the stream and subscribe if you are new here. Like I said, we will stream later this week to continue the hunt either tomorrow or Wednesday. I'm probably get it. 
like betting on Wednesday. Um, but I will post the stream um, update on the channel as well as on Discord. So yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you, Shark Clown. Thank you, Becca. Thank you, Maya, again for the happy birthday. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see you all in the next stream. Bye, everyone.